Oh, wait. Can you hear me now? Okay. Maybe it's working now. Maybe it just took a second. I thought I was going to have to restart it. Okay. Can everybody hear me? Okay. It's, it's registering as a mic. Okay. Yeah, for some reason the mic was unselected. You can hear me typing. Okay. You can hear me now. Yay! Okay, let me go back up to the top. Oh my goodness. See, it said that it was on for some reason. I think it's because I accidentally unplugged my microphone earlier when I was shifting stuff, and I think the program that I used deregistered it. So, okay. So sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Well, what's what's the live stream without a few hiccups, right? Okay, let me go back up to the top because I talked to everybody and then we missed it. Okay, so let me start again. Philip, first in the chat. Hello, Philip. And we have Kimberly, and we have Graham, and Tyler, and Barbara says, Hi, Emily. I'm kind of a newbie, and I have to tell you, I really enjoy watching your streams and you letting us pick the page is awesome, Miss. Thanks for sharing. I'm so glad, Barbara. It makes it nice because then, you know, at least we get the majority that everybody likes the page. Kimberly says she's just relaxing for a little bit before she goes to bed early. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jim, hello, Jan, Tyler, thank you for sharing the socials. Uh, let's see, let's see. Philip, same thing, bed coming shortly. Awesome for the new stylist. Let's see, diamond painting. Uh, yeah, so diamond painting, uh, uh, Color with Claire does diamond painting. It's, it's, I think, a little too tedious for me, but yeah, uh, Color with Claire does diamond painting. I see Kimberly, hello, Kimberly, and Cheryl, uh, Pat, hello, Pat. Yep, and this is where we hit the no sound. Oh, no. <laughs> Sherry, Kimberly, Graham, Annette, and Jim again. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Jim, the music and the mic are two separate different things because the music comes from my desktop audio and then the my microphone is, is separate. So Beth Ann says, yay, Emily. Hi, <laughs> Emily. There we go. Graham says, any sound? One sec. Yeah, that was me. One sec. Joe Beth. Hello, Joe Beth. Philip, instead of using thread to stitch, you just put the little matching diamonds of gems. Oh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Emma's muted herself. It was an accident. <laughs> it's, it's the thing from Adam's family. Yeah, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I see her, but no audio. Yeah, just waving hands. Okay, there we go. Going to be very quiet stream. I know, right? Let's see. I'm glancing at my video now, Barbara. My other cross-stitch problem is that it's so slow. There you go. There you go. Okie dokie, Emily. There we go. Let's see. New thing on here. Diamond hitting is much faster. Bad mic. No cookie. <laughs> yeah, no cookie for the mic. Emily's going to have Alton Brown it and communicate via post-its. There you go. I'll just write on the piece of paper, pop it in the screen. Let's see. Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Yes, thank you for that, Tyler. Noise! I hear typing. Yeah, I had to, like, re-click to register the mic. So I was just like, ah... Yeah, you know, yep, can hear me typing. There you go. It's YouTube having issues. Yeah, it was, it was I think, honestly, I unplugged the, because it was the program itself. It just didn't have a mic registered for it. Let's see. Uh, Sydney says, oh, let me scroll back up here. Missed it. Uh, Sydney says, hi, everyone. I've been watching for so long. Emily, love, or love all your videos, Emily. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sydney. I'm so glad you're here. There we go. I can hear me now. Awesome. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. There we go. Let's see, you can yeah, you can hear you now. I always look forward to these nights. Oh, I'm so glad, Bethan. Yes, we can hear you there. Thank you for sharing. I love your streams. I love that you let us pick out the picture. That's perfect. Like that's new. <laughs> Thanks, Loretta. <laughs> Liza says I'm here. Hi, Liza. Color Claire has her own markers. Yes, I saw that. It's awesome. Emily, my turquoise skin tone was a huge success, by the way. Oh, I'm so glad, Bethan. Hi, Lisa. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Liza says, hi, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Yep, Sarah, you're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Yeah, I haven't watched your video yet, but that's so cool. Let's see. Yeah, her own markers. Yeah, I think she must have something working with uh, coltpens.com, which is really cool because she's able to try out such a variety of, uh, of different tools. Let's see. Could you go get them in the queue? She chose the colors. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, she partnered with Magic Markers. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Okay, well, now that I'm caught up with chat, I am so, so sorry for that hiccup. It was just one of those things. It's just like I looked at it and it looked fine. And then when I realized no one could hear me, I looked over. And normally there's a little bar that like lets me know kind of, you know, volume. If it's in the green, it's good. If it's in the yellow, it might be getting a little bit loud. If it's in the red, it's way too loud and it's blowing out all of your, out of your ear, all your ears here. So I tried to keep it at a good balance, but that little bar wasn't up. And I think it just at some point the microphone deregistered. So it had to take a second to kick in. Anyway, okay, technical difficulties aside, I'm going to backtrack for just a sec. So for those that didn't see it, 
I finished the uh, Color Me Festive page, which is this one. Nice little simple. We weren't planning on doing a background anyway because I was hoping to get it done in one stream. Um, so I just left it simple, just how it is. Um, I didn't post it. So I posted on Instagram, but I did not post the color list on Instagram. However, I did the, post a list of all of the colors that I used on the Facebook post. So if you're wanting to continue to follow along to see what colors I used, I listed all of the color names on here. So there's that. And then, let's see, where'd my pages go here? Uh, and then, so we posted the thing about, um, oh, I'm not sure where the other one's at, uh, about this page and the butterfly one, and my phone's not on silent. Ha <laughs> ha. I am having all kinds of uh, ish, good things going on here. Okay, put that on silent. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, we voted on the butterfly versus the birds. I honestly thought the birds might win, but the butterfly did. So, and I know Kimmy, if you're here, yes, Kimmy, there you are. I'm so sorry that I that it wasn't the birds, but I had an idea because I don't think that the butterfly is going to take us that long. So I'm thinking that after the butterfly, then we can do the birds. So we, we may be able to do both of them here. Um, what else, what else, what else? So we're gonna be using the Stedler Fine Liners. Now, the only issue with the Stedler Fine Liners, they don't have names. So my recommendation is gonna be, I'll tell you kind of what color it is and then maybe you can sort of find it, but it just, it, they don't have names. So if anything, yours doesn't have to match the exact colors, you know, just choose your best one. But I mean, you can see like here for the greens, for instance, or that's a, that's a neon yellow. But for the greens here, let me make sure this is nice and in focus for the colors here so you can see. There we go. And let me see what I'm missing. Say, I definitely go by her wrist for like, she uses enough pencils, markers, paints, and, and thinks she knows whether or not an item is worth another scene. Oh, of course, Bethann. Yeah, she's great. I, I am always amazed by her review videos. I'm still a little new to the review videos and I gotta tell you, she makes it look so easy. She really does. She She's definitely like my, my role model when it comes to review videos. Hi, Kelly, welcome. Like the bird and the president saw on face. Oh, perfect, Pat. Let's see. Yeah, she isn't getting paid for them, but she does get the supplies. So I assume she gets to keep the supplies. So that's sort of it. We've missed you too, Kelly. <laughs> Patricia says, hi everyone. Nice to be here on a rainy evening. Welcome, Patricia. There are numbers for them, but it's hard to figure out. And maybe it's on like the newer ones. Cause like on mine, there's no number listed on it. So a while back when I got these, I numbered them myself. You can see there's a little number there. I mean, that was ages ago. Most of them are all worn. So yeah, I think we're just, we're, we're gonna muddle through it. We're gonna do our best and kind of see how it goes. Maybe not getting paid, but she does give great thorough reviews. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she does great. No names, gasp. Welcome to my digital world. Amy for the best match. There you go. I don't have this book, so I'll be trying to finish the page from Secret Garden. That sounds good. Hi, Alyssa. And I apologize with the chaos at the beginning. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. So we're going to do a large welcome, welcome, welcome to anybody that I missed because I'm so grateful for each and every one of you being here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of muddle through and I will do my best to describe uh, the color that we're using. I mean, like for the yellows, there's a standard yellow. Yellow, there's the neon yellow um, so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do our best because I have a swatch that I created a while ago now I know it says that I have 38 but what you'll notice is like this color and this color are the same this color and this color are the same and it's because I didn't buy the full 36 pack over time like I started with the 12 and then I got the neons and then I got another set so I kind of like got all the sets separately over time uh, so I didn't just straight up get the full 36 set. I want to get the 60 set though. Now on the box with them. Okay, there you go. Did you photocopy this page on a different paper? I did not. I actually cut this out of the book. Um, and I have the, where did I put it? Where did I put it? I have the artist edition page, which is going to hold up better against any kind of inks. Oh my goodness. I'm so disorganized. You know, I have all this stuff like right next to me and then it comes time for me to actually use it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know where it's at. Um, seriously, where did I put the page? I mean, I don't move it away from where I'm at. Oh, that, that mess up there at the beginning got me all, all kinds of fluster here. Yes, flustered. Flustered is, uh, is our word of the day here. Give me one second. Trying to see if I put it with my other ones. Just gonna 
bother me. Where did I put it? One second. the artist edition of this here and the reason I chose these pages is because they are both in the book and in the artist edition because I figured if somebody only had the artist edition or somebody only had the book so um hi Christina the box has numbers on it oh my goodness I have long since lost the box because like I said I only got them like individually so I got um uh we're having a little bit of lag here. Um, I got them individually in little separate containers. So I don't have like the 36 count box. So um, yeah, maybe the newer ones. Yeah, there's a good chance they've changed it up. Oh wait, B5. Are these the numbers maybe? Let's look. Okay, for those of you with the numbers, help me out here. I'm going to list a number here. Yeah, it's buffering a little bit. Just give it a second to uh, to catch up here. Oh, look, there are little numbers printed on it. Let me know when it catches up, okay? I'm assuming that the that the audio is fine. Yeah, Liza, I think I can see him. Okay, so question then. For those of you that have the box with the numbers, because I do not have the box, because like I said, I bought these in different sections, I'm going to read off a color or a, a number here, and I want you to tell me if it matches up um, uh, matches up with what I'm describing as number. Okay. So, um, for those of you with the box, let's grab, all right, this bright green, it's kind of a neon green on it. It says M4. Does M4 match the bright green? And like, let's choose the standard yellow. Let's see. Oh, I am getting some drop frames here. Oh, it's a night full of stuff. Let's see. Skip frames about a minute ago. Skip frames 13 minutes ago. Hmm. Well, I don't have any more of the programs that I usually have up. Okay. Yeah, I think it just needs to catch up. It's very choppy. Okay. I think we're, I think it's smoothed out now. I think it was just a hiccup. Okay, yeah, Mia, you have the box. Okay, so yeah, does the bright green, um, it's good now? Okay, yeah, it tends to be a little rougher right at the beginning, so hopefully, hopefully we won't have any more issues. Okay, perfect. All right, so yeah, bright green, does it match up with M4? I never noticed this in town now, you can tell. And like we have the almost neon pink, does it match up with, Oh, now this says M4 also. Okay. So these both say M4. I wonder if this is because like I got these in their sets. So like this one says, the regular green says K5. You have G6 on all your barrels. Oh, this is so hard. Seems to be okay now? Okay. My yellow says A5. This dark blue says also A5. <laughs> Probably um, solar flare. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, these don't seem to be individual, and it could just be because I have older ones. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, yeah, let's just roll with it, and we'll, we'll do the best we can here. So anyway, um... There's the artist edition and the edition that comes in the book. I'm going to do this standard book paper so that I don't oversaturate it because I could blend a lot on this, but those that are using regular paper, it might not work as well because it'd be too much ink. So I want to be able to um, do this so that everybody can do it. All my neon say H8. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to do my best to describe them and we'll neon pink is 221. Yeah, so it must just be that mine are older. They probably printed numbers on them in the barrel later, but I'm not kidding when I say I've had these for years. I mean, I started coloring in 2015, and I probably bought um, most of mine then. So, yeah, they must have changed it. So, mine, boop. 
do not have the numbers. So we are just going to make this work. All right. We'll just roll with it. <clears throat> okay. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in? I feel like there were any other announcements. Um, yeah, let's just roll with it. Okay. <sighs> Enough hiccups. Let's get started. Um, what I am going to do so that we can tell colors just a little bit lighter, better. And so I don't mess it up. I'm going to grab a sheet of paper here, just a white sheet of paper. What brand again are just called fine liners? Uh, I am using the Stedler fine liners, Philip. Um, I want to use the Stedler because I am most familiar with them. I have not used the Econic ones as much to be comfortable to teach you how to blend uh, markers. So um, that's why I chose to use the Stedler ones. Uh, and so that is what we are going to roll with. If you don't have the Stedler ones and would like to purchase them, I did put uh, the Amazon links for the 36 set, the 42 set, and the 60 set in the description below, as well as links to the Hannah Carlson book and the artist edition. Hello, Samantha. Let's see, I had a 24 set of those, but I have no clue where they're at right now. Ah, oh, that's all right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we go along, we're gonna go ahead and grab this extra sheet of paper. I'm just gonna pop it right here so that we can mark as we go along to make sure that we're using the right color. I have this swatch chart, but um, yeah, it'll give us a little bit of an idea. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it, right? <laughs> just the box, so weird. <laughs> There we go. All right, so let's zoom on in. And what I'm gonna do so that we don't get lost or anything, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like, so say we color this part right here, then we're gonna color this part at the same time so that we don't forget what we used on either side. And we're just gonna go back, forth, back, forth. Okay, so let's make sure that we're nice and in focus here. There we go. All right, everything good, music good, audio good, no buffering. All right, I swore I had this book and don't. I have two other books of hers. I have the postcards, get, can't find the butterfly in there. Yeah, this one's from uh, Daydream, so. But it's okay, we're gonna do a lot more in the future. We'll just enjoy this one for now, and you know, we'll just, we'll just roll with it, okay? So why don't we go ahead and get started with this. Out of all the colors, <laughs> okay. Out of all the colors that we have, this is the lightest pink color, okay? So I'll show you in comparison, like here are the other pinks. Okay, so that's like other pinks. We are using this light pink color. It's about, the cap is about the same shade as this kind of light purple color, okay? So we're gonna be using the light pink. All right, and we are going to start with this little round area here. Or, you wanna go inside out? You know what, we're actually gonna do this little section right here, okay? So first, what we're gonna do is we are just going to lay down a single layer, going in little circles of the pink. Now, sometimes with that buffering, like it's hard because there's nothing that tells me, like my, my computer has a limited, you know, CPU. There's only so much that it can process, which is one of the issues I had when I very first started streaming. And honestly, I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to do it because for some reason my computer could just not process it. <laughs> yep, it's pink, Mia. Um, so a lot of times when it's buffering like that, I'm sort of at the mercy of the internet and the CPU. And a lot of times I just have to wait it out and see if it's going to fix itself. So if we ever get a night where the buffering just doesn't stop, truthfully, there's just not a whole lot I can do about it. So I just either would have to call it or just wait it out. Which is why one of these days I would love to invest in a great streaming uh, PC. In the meantime, my laptop seems to function adequately for it. Oh, no worries, Philip. I think that's probably, when it comes to streaming, I really enjoy it, but probably the technical side of it is the most stressful just because it's just like, oh man, is this gonna work? Is it's not gonna work? What's happening? Ah! <laughs> just like that. Okay, let's see, is this the one I want? Yes, okay. Or do we want the neon pink? All set, Emily. Everything's great. No hiccups. Okay, perfect. Was trying to Google an image of the box with numbers. No luck yet. I think I'd have a hard time even matching it up if I could. 
Okay, hi, Ilaria. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and use this pink. So not the hot pink, not the dark kind of purpley one, but this pink here, okay? Now I should really do, I should just renumber these and then color a swatch chart and then put it on Facebook so everybody can kind of match it up that way. All right, so now what we're gonna do, now that we've got our single layer of pink, we're gonna go ahead and add this darker pink just along the edge, kind of like you would if you're shading with pencil. And this is where the technical kind of tricky aspects of the Stedler Fine Liners comes in, where you can start kind of mixing it up a little bit. I know it looks like a harsh line right now. Um, I saw the buffering, but just log out and back in. Oh, there you go, okay. So then we're gonna add it here as well. It's one nice thing I like about the Stedler Fine Liners is it doesn't put out so much ink that it completely saturates the paper because one of the risks that you have with paper and using the fine liners is oversaturating it because then the paper will start to pill up and it'll tear up. Um, I don't worry too much about bleeding through. Like for instance, I put two layers now. We can flip it over. The pink is right here. There's zero bleed through on this. That's why I love the Stadler fine liners. Like they're, they're probably my favorite. I really want to get that 60 set. Bit rates are not my friend. Exactly, Aloria. I, I really look forward to the day that I can get a nice streaming PC. Nice part about computers is how consistent they are. Specifically, they consistently do something different every time. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Philip. Well, and my thing is too, it's usually just at the beginning of the stream. It's like it's trying to figure itself out. So, you know, it's generally it happens within the first five, 10 minutes and then it just sort of settles and we're good. All right, so now we're gonna use that light pink, the same light pink that we used here, okay? We're gonna go back to this edge and we're gonna add a bit more color to it. You see how we're kind of darkening that, softening that edge? So kind of like what we do with pencils, we do a little bit darker where the, you know, where the two pinks meet and then you're gonna go a little bit further out, just lightly. And now it looks a little dark now, but once it dries, it should even out and be a fairly similar color. Oh, you found some numbers? Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Go a little bit heavier right along that line. And I'm doing this on the standard uh, Daydreams paper that comes in the regular book, not the artist edition. And I'm not having any of the, you know, oversaturation, none of the papers tearing up. And you can see still, it's only just barely, just barely starting to bleed through. So, I mean, it will bleed through eventually, depending on how many, you know, layers you do. But I mean, it's just barely. Granted, I don't usually color on the backside anyway, so but it does, it does pretty good. Now, if you do notice that the paper is getting saturated and it starts to pill up, take a step back. So you don't want to, you don't want your paper to start ripping because then that's where, you know, you have a hard time coming back from that. And that's a risk with markers. It is. So we're going to do the same thing here. Don't leave your marker in any one place for too long because then that's when it will get saturated. You want to keep moving. Okay. So now we've gone over that line. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of bring it out just a little bit. Okay. And like I said, now it's dried a little bit, so we're getting a bit more of that fade. And then same thing up here. And like I said, if you feel the smoothness of your paper starting to get a little too rough, that just means that it's getting oversaturated. And you can tell because, you know, you can look on the back and see, okay, is it starting to bleed through yet? This area where it's just barely, barely, barely starting to bleed through, I don't even know if you can see it. It's just this teeny tiny pink dot. That's a place where I could feel the paper starting to come up just a little bit. Okay, save the link, Mia, and save the picture of the number colors. Okay, perfect, awesome. Thank you, Mia. All right, so now we've got that pink line. Let's go ahead and grab our, I think this came with the neon set. So you've got a couple blues here that are like light blues. I'm going to pull them all out because I think the best way we can tell what's what is when we hold them to compare. Okay. So here's all of our different blues here. All right. We've got like a dark blue, an aqua. We've got kind of a slate blue. You know, this is actually a pretty dark one, sort of a light blue. And then this is what I consider kind of like the neon blue. We're going to be using this one, the neon blue. Okay. So we're going to use that now. And this is going to be our base color. 
we're gonna fill that in here. Like I said, I'm not lingering in any one place too long because how much you can blend depends on how much you saturate the paper. Now, one of the things that you can do, we're not gonna use them a ton today because we don't have you know too many large spaces, but one of the other things you can do if you want, Stedler also has a line of tripless color markers. These ones here. You know, it's still, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. You can see the difference in the barrel too. The fine liners have the gray barrel. These ones have colored barrels. And the difference between these is the tip. Let's see if you can see that. I'm gonna see if I can get that to focus. Uh, maybe not. Here we go. It's the tip. You can see it's quite a bit larger than the fine liners. See that? So sometimes these ones are nice for filling in large spaces. Now you can see I didn't choose that same color. At least I don't think this is the right one for it. So like this is the color we're using right now. This is it. Actually, that is pretty similar, isn't it? So it gives you, you can see the difference. You know, if you're needing to cover a bigger area, you could do that. But also the risk, because this is a larger fiber tip, you're gonna be laying down more ink. So if you wanted to do that, if you had larger spaces, um, this would be a good option because they have larger tips, but they're still the same colors. So that is an option if, you're, if you don't ha quite have the patience to use the little one. We're gonna keep using um, these smaller ones though. Let's get this back in focus. Oh, this would be good. We can color all nice and blurry. Then you guys can guess what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go ahead and continue this. Like I said, don't leave your marker in any one spot too long. Just there long enough to cover the space that you're wanting to you know, have that color on. Because then we're gonna go back through and we're gonna add a bit more color to help shade it. Because I think that's what a lot of people assume is that just because you're using markers, you know, unless they're a fancy blending marker, um, it's, uh, you know, hard to blend them sometimes. But that's why I've developed this technique for using the Stedlers so that you can use them without just, you know, laying down flat color. You see, Philip says, okay, my before bed question, how do you decide the colors? which ones are going where or random. I've been using a web page called Design Seeds for color ideas. So for me, I know that I have a limited color palette. So, you know, I've got 36 colors to work with, but I also know that my base colors all need to be my lighter colors. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to see the shading. So I take a look, like this, this isn't entirely accurate still, but I take a look at what my light colors are. Okay, so I have this pink, this is what we used first. We've got this blue, which is what we're using now. You know, we've got these neon colors. I love this one here. So, you know, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, um, even the yellow. So we've got 10 colors to work off here. So probably our palette for the main portion of this is going to be a lot of these light colors because I know if I want to blend, these are the colors that I'm gonna need to use because otherwise these are gonna be too dark. You know, there's not a whole lot to work uh, after that because you want those, that shading to pop. So a lot of our base colors are all gonna be these light colors. So I tell myself, okay, well, that's, that's what I have choices for, for uh, what I'm gonna do. And so what I want to do then is I'll take, you know, this pink and I'll put a darker pink on top. I'll take this green, I'll put a darker green on top for the shading. So that's what kind of decides my color palette. But a lot of times I just make it up as I go along. Sometimes I'll choose ahead of time and give myself a limited palette. But my thing is I choose something that's gonna dry your eye all the way around and also not make the picture too heavy. You know, something that jumps around, you're like, oh, okay, there's that color there, that color there. If you saturate it all with one color, it may just end up being too heavy. But adding multiple colors that are uh, uh, coherent with one another is going to make the picture more interesting in the long run. Yes, blurry screen time. There you go. Raven says, yes, didn't get here super late. Hi, Raven. Welcome. Hi, Ariane. We're just going over our fine liners here. All right, nice and zoomed in. Let's make sure we're nice and clear. All right, so now we're going to take the blue over to the other side. 
And this is that same blue that we pulled out before. Yeah, I'll have to look to see if some of the newer ones have numbers on them, but I haven't bought markers like these in forever. These have lasted me ages. But these tiny details are perfect for the fine liners. And like I said, the trick is not to spend too long on one section. You just sort of glide over the paper, you know? There we go. No problem, Philip. Oh, perfect, Kimberly. Okay, so now we've added the blue. Now, here's the tricky part, is that we're not gonna have a ton of space to do a lot of blending. So like we wouldn't wanna use something as dark as this to balance our blue, because we're gonna have to blend too much and that's really gonna saturate it. So we wanna choose a slightly lighter color. So something like, something like number 10 here, which is, I believe, no, I don't think it's that. Let's check our little sheet of paper over here. Okay, we're gonna find what can match that the best. There's that one. And there's this one. Okay, so that one's, okay, so we were actually using 33. This one is 11, this one is 10. So we want 10. One of the other things you can do too is you can shade with the single color that you were using itself. For instance, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this sheet of paper here real quick. I'm gonna show you, okay. So we have this here, all right? What you can do, we're just gonna go over this little dot here, is take the same color that you were using and then you add a bit more ink to it so that it's heavier and darker where it was at. There you go. Now you see we've got the dark side and the light side. So if you're not confident with adding, you know, an extra dark color, it might be easier to go in and slowly do this. And I would say if you're going to do a few layers of the same color, let the layers dry in between because you're le less likely to have paper tearing up when you do that. So definitely let your layers dry in between. We are going to go ahead and use our darker color here. Okay. Slide this over so I can use this. And again, if you want to practice with blending, you know, different markers together, grab your extra sheet of paper, have that on hand so that you can test it out before you add it to the page itself. All right. So we are going to use this blue next. I'm going to put all these blues together so you can see. Well, that's kind of like our aqua color. We'll move that. All right. So you can kind of tell which one we're going to use. Okay. So this is the color that we just used for our blue background. All right, we've got this one, which is also similar to this one, kind of a slate gray, dark gray, and then this sort of medium one. We're using the medium one. And for those of you coming in, I have older Stedlers. I haven't bought any recently, and so mine do not have color names or numbers on the tube. So I'm sort of just describing the colors as we go along. If you've got your own colors and you're trying to match them up and you're not sure if you've got the same ones that I have, just test them out on an extra sheet of paper and, uh, and go from there, okay? So we're using this kind of medium blue. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to draw a single line around the edge, okay? Let's see, I meant to choose songs with no lyrics. That one shouldn't be in there. There we go. I find that if I choose music with lyrics, it's just too distracting. And I think that was a, one of the Christmas songs I accidentally put in there. All right, so there's that one. I'm actually gonna let that side dry. And I'm going to move this here. Same thing, move this in. And it doesn't take long to dry. By the time I'm done drawing this line, it will have dried. One of the other things you could do if you wanted to, just keep in mind, you don't have a lot of space to blend. You could always add a little bit down in this corner. Not much, just a little. It's so like I said, remember, you don't have a lot of space to work with. And if you get your paper too saturated, that's when you're going to get start getting some of that pilling, some of that ripping. Okay. Because that is the risk with markers, especially when you're working in a standard coloring book. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, yours have no numbers on them either. Okay. Now we're going to go back to that light blue that we used the first time around. Okay. Now we're just going to very carefully do a little circle pattern right along that edge. Because we're trying to get a dark enough blue color that we're blending it with that other uh, medium blue that we laid down right around the edge. Okay. And we can check the other side to see if it's bleeding through. And I see nothing. So far, the only bleed through we've had is that tiny little red spot right there. So it does a pretty good job. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Okay, and we're just going up just a little bit. Like I said, just have a real light hand on these. And if you're, if you feel like the line's a little too harsh, in fact, can we zoom in anymore? Oh no, that's pretty good. Okay. Then you can do one more light line here because the idea is you're just trying to create that gradient, you know? And again, this is how I work with the Stedler fine liners. Um, you know, I've used the Arteza ink conic, but I have not used the Arteza fine liners. So I cannot guarantee that you're going to get the same result with the Arteza fine liners only because I haven't used them. So I'm not sure if they have um, the same result. But that's why I chose to use Stedlers tonight because I am familiar with them and I know what works with them and what doesn't. So we're just doing that same thing on this side now where we're blending in that dark blue. Okay. corners and whenever you're doing something this like this that's like on identical on either side I find that it's easier like I mentioned in the beginning of the stream if you just go back and forth and color the same thing because I've done it so many times where I've colored all of one side because you know I'm excited you know color the different shapes or whatever and then I come over here and I'm just like I have no idea what I just did on the first side you know what I mean Ooh, the chameleon fine liners will be fun, Mia. Okay, so we've colored those two things. Now let's go ahead and let's work on the body a little bit because that'll give us an idea of how we want to balance these colors here and that will give the rest of this time to dry a little bit. So we want to pick a nice light color. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want to do for that, huh? I'm leaning towards a green. So let's go and do that. Let's grab, let's see, we've got these two greens here. Let's test them out and see which one is lighter. Okay, there we go, there's my sheet. Okay, we have this green here. This is the neon green. And then this is kind of like a yellow green. And I think I want to go with the yellow green. It's a little bit more greeny, not quite as bright. And yes, that's a technical term, greeny. <laughs> so you can see the difference in these colors. There's also this one here. I also really like this green color, but we're gonna use this lightest green, okay? This is the one that we're using. All right, so we're gonna grab our butterfly here. And what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna color the whole butterfly this color. Then we're gonna go back in with our greens and we're gonna blend it in, okay? So. I'm gonna fill in this whole thing. Remember, just keep your hand light to the page, never lingering in one spot for too long. You pre-ordered them? Oh, that'll be so fun, Mia. All right, so, you know, I did this music, but I didn't test them all. This one sounds like not really fitting. It's almost like it's suspenseful music. <laughs> All right, we skipped that one. All right. So go ahead. I'll have to fine tune my playlist a little bit. Maybe take away a few things, add a few things. It's no Spotify. <laughs> Okay, 
So we're just filling this in all the way. And trust me, when when we're done with it, it'll look it'll look better. Greeny, yes. See, this song sounds exactly like it. I'm gonna skip again. Definitely gonna have to make some adjustments to this playlist. Like I said, just light hand using little circles, little ovals, really. Okay. Almost done. Now this is going to be a bigger space, so theoretically we could use a couple different greens to blend this body, which I think we will. So we want to get a nice kind of high contrast little little uh, butterfly here. Okay. Okay. So there is the body. Now what we're going to do is I think we're going to grab, we have a couple choices for greens here, okay? So these are all of our greens that we have. Now those with the 42 and the, and the 60, if you have a better choice in green, feel free to use it. These are just what I have access to myself, okay? So this is the green right here. This is the green that we're using here, okay? We've already tried the neon green. That's not what we're gonna use, okay? We're definitely gonna be using this one with it, okay? So this, this screen here is our light, this one's our mid. So what do we wanna choose for our dark? We have a choice of this one. Thanks, Pickle. Uh, my four month old lab is feeling better finally after her second set of shots. And I've gotta to go to bed soon as I've gotta get up super early for work. Oh man, Kimberly, well, I'm glad she's feeling better. All right, we've got this one. It's kind of like a moss green a little bit, which I honestly, I'm leaning towards. It's not quite as stark, you know, dark as this green up top here is. And then there's this really dark one. So I think we're actually gonna go ahead and use this one here. So this is the green that's sort of like a moss green color. I know it's showing up really dark in the camera, but here, let's leave it that Okay, so trust me, it's like, there you go. I can see it a little bit better. It's a moss green, okay? Then we're going to be using this green here and this is the light green. Okay. So, if, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this screen here because it's so dark. We don't want to use much of it. We're just going along the edge. Okay. Small lines, <coughs> excuse me, around the outside. If you want, you could draw a straight line all the way down. You don't necessarily need to do it for each individual line. Okay, but we're just kind of going all around the outside here. Again, try not to linger for too long. The longer your marker is pressed to the paper, the more ink will get released into the paper. Okay, so just light hands, light hands. Just a light touch will be enough to do it. Oh, and hey, all he, I got excited by bright colors. Oh, I know it, I love bright colors. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our mid green. So again, these are the three greens we're using. Okay, we got this dark kind of moss green, then we got this mid green here. Not the grass green looking one, but I think of it as, uh, as like pear or lime peel almost, this green. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this one. Okay, we're gonna go over that edge just a bit. Now I'm lingering just a little bit longer on this one because I really want to blend that. But if you feel that your paper is starting to tear up a little bit, you know, let it dry and, and come back to it. Okay, see I can feel mine starting to come up just a bit, so I'm going to move on. The trick is, or the, the thing is, you're trying to eliminate those harsh lines, okay? 
So I'm just going in kind of long ovals here all along the edge. Okay, long ovals. bit more. Go here. <laughs> Me too. Sunglasses are needed for some of my pages. That's a good thing though. Everybody loves bright colors. All right. There we go. All right. Now we're going to grab that light green again, and this is where it should all come together. I'll get a drink here. One sec. This is shading 101 with your Spedler fine liners. <laughs> All right, now we've got this, you know, that light green that we used for the whole body. And we're going to go right along the edge. Adding a second layer to the green that's already there is also going to darken it up. So that's where we're starting to blend this all in together. Okay, nice light hand, light hand. Okay, all the way down. Okay, we're just bridging the gap between the light and the dark colors okay doing those little long ovals again okay now because we have a little bit more and it's still a little bit of harsh line we're just going to go super lightly right on this edge okay just super light okay hardly putting any pressure just enough to escape this pen right across the page. All right. Let's see, how's that look? See, the funny thing is, is in my camera, this color looks so bright. It's not nearly as bright in real life, but the camera, it looks pretty bright. You'll get a better idea of what it is once I get a picture of it and post it. But this is basically the idea. Super light, don't oversaturate. Okay. All right. So now that we've got a green body, we can move on. Now I like the idea of carrying on some of this blue. So we're gonna grab that same blue that we used for this ring here, okay? And we're gonna put it right here, okay? And it's that same blue that we used on this ring earlier. Just on either side here. And we're gonna get that same kind of, and actually, you know what? This is such a small area. I'm not gonna bring in this other darker blue. I am just going to go in with this same blue again and just go around the edge. And you can see that that darkened it up enough on its own. Okay, so just a little bit on the edge, just to give it a little bit of depth. All right, so there's that blue. All right, now let's take this pink along these lines, okay? Same thing with this light pink. Right up along this line here. And this one here. Okay. Now we're going to grab, this was that other pink that we used, okay? We're using the same colors, so we're going to add a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there, a bit there, 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 oh, we forgot a pink line. One sec. Okay, we're going to fill this in here, okay? A little bit of that darker pink and see we don't even need to blend this one too much because these are so small but we are just going to add just a little bit just to try and keep any harsh lines the key to a true gradient is to not have any hard lines thanks kimmy okay kimberly says i'm glad i'm watching this as i'm learning a lot from my mistakes i've made on my practice page using brush pens and fine liners and why the page starts tearing. Exactly. Anytime your page starts tearing, it's just because it is too wet and it's too oversaturated. When you're using markers and blending markers, unless you're coloring on something that really holds up well, light strokes are the key. Where you start to go wrong is when your paper gets too wet and then it's just like the pilling and everything else. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and use our, let's see, do we wanna use, yeah, we're gonna use neon yellow, okay? and then the standard yellow, all right? So here's where we're gonna use it. These lines here, okay? 
We're going to go through and do all of our neon yellow first. And here. Well, and because they're markers too, I feel like this is going to go faster than our standard coloring page. Thanks, Mia. And then this pattern here is going to match this pattern here. So we're going to use our neon yellow here as well. I'm kind of doing large circles here, but enough to fill it in. Again, just light hand, light hand all the way through. Okay, there we go. Arteza came out with their own color book and it got in my email. Oh, and got it in my email. You got the coloring book in your email, Kimberly? Oh, that's cool. We'll have to check it out. Okay. I'm just making sure. And you can feel too, like there's different parts of my page that feels rough because that's where the papers start to pull up. I mean, it's a fine line, like three, fine line for fine liners. Huh? About three layers is, is about enough for it. All right. So now we're going to take our, our standard yellow and we're going to go right along this outside edge. Okay. There we go. And on this outside edge here, and we're going to go on the outside edge here as well. We're just kind of mirroring each other. Okay. I know it might be hard to see through the camera, but if you do it in real life, you'll be able to see the difference. If it's not dark enough, you can always, you know, go over it one more time. But again, try and keep that light hand. And even if you don't have the butterfly to color, this particular technique can translate into any of them. Now, I'm not gonna go back over with the neon here because this is so light as it is, I don't think it's needed. I think that we can leave this just how it is and we don't need to add another, um, another layer of the neon yellow, okay? Yep, you can see one of their pages as a practice page to color with my brush markers and fine liners. Oh, awesome, Kimberly, perfect. All right, now let's grab, let's see. See, the thing of it is, is even though I have this, just, you know, the cap says, oh, hey, this is gonna be a light purple. It is not that light. It is actually kind of dark, at least darker than I would like. So we are not gonna use that purple. Let's see. What do we want to use? We're going to use this one. Okay. So to help you tell the difference, this is kind of that reddish orange. Here is the neon orange. Here is its other neon orangey counterpart. That's the one that is kind of like an almost pinky orange. You know, it's between the neon pink and the orange. We're using this one. Okay. And where we're going to use it, let's see, we're going to use it here. Here, here, here. Okay, and those ones there. And we're going to use it here. Again, I'm just using a nice light hand, but it's a sort of orange. And so the nice thing about putting next to the blue is blue and orange are complementary colors. So it works out well. Okay. And we're going to put it on the inside part of this as well. We'll save this band in the middle for a different color. We 
might even do the blue on there. I think that would look nice. Okay. So there's that one. And now we're going to do it the same on the other side. Like I said, sticking to the same, you know, you did one side, now you do the other side is helpful and not, you know, so you don't lose track on what you did. It's not exactly the most fun because it's like when you're done with a shape, then you're like, I want to move on to a new shape. It's like, no, nope, you need to go to the other side now and do the exact same thing that you just did. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> got that all right so there's those colors now what we're gonna do is we are going to use let's see what do we want to use I actually want to use this pink yeah which is the same pink that we used on our lighter pink thanks for alert Kimmy okay so we're not gonna use a ton okay we're just gonna do a little line there a little bit there because if I use a dark orange with it then it's gonna look too orange in comparison to when we use the neon orange and I want to be able to mix it up so using this pink color here on the on the sides instead of you know, as our darker color instead of the orange helps to bring out the more pinky hues in this orange color than we would if we were to use the dark orange. Not to mention, then it kind of matches with this pink here. Okay, so I'm just using it a little bit in the corners here. I've been debating today about whether or not to do a weekend stream. I kind of want to build off the momentum from the Color Me Festive. There were just so many people here because the time was so much better for everyone. And I kind of want to say hello to everyone again. So what do you all think? We're going to do the pink here too. Uh, what do you all think about a weekend stream? I'm not sure if it'll be Saturday or Sunday. I have to talk to my husband to kind of see because I haven't even uh, chatted with him about this yet. I, oh, you know, you know what? I have a thing to go to on Saturday, so I guess that would leave, that would leave Sunday. Okay, so if I did it, it would be, it would be Sunday. So, I don't know. What do you all think? Do you think a Sunday stream? I'm not sure. I need to get rid of this song here. I'm not sure what we would do. We can always pick up you know, pick back up one of our weekend things that we did. But I don't know. Do you think a, a weekend stream is something we'd want to do? Alessa, yes! <laughs> Yay, yes, a weekend stream would be great. Okay. I was gonna say, if nobody says anything, I'll take that as a as a strong no, but it just seems like you get so many more people on the weekend because, you know, A, I'm streaming during the daytime, and B, just, you know, everybody's got work off, nobody has to get up in the morning, you know? So, I don't know. It's something I'm definitely considering. Not too early, <laughs> yeah. Well, it would usually be about the time my husband would go grocery shopping because then he would take the kids with him and then everything would be nice and quiet. Sunday digital stream? Oh, that could be something, Philip. That's not a bad idea. I'd have to take a look at that pigment app. I still haven't done that. It's on my list. Uh, we're going to go back to using that kind of pinky orange that we were using. 
We could do a Sunday digital stream. For sure, all right. All right, so we're kind of going over that edge there, kind of blending how we did before. Fill up on that, yep. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. Like I said, the real trick to blending with these fine liners is just not to oversaturate your paper. Oh, I put in a good word with the project manager over at PicSight, Makers of Pigment for you. Really? Makers of Pigment. So like choosing colors or what specifically? Because that's interesting. Very interesting. You, you have my interest peaked, Philip. Was kind of hoping they would give you a free subscription or something. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, oh, the pigment app. Oh, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sorry, you said pigment. I was like, colors, what? No, that would be cool. That'd be very cool. New mattress, yay! What coloring book would you take with you on a deserted island of art supplies? A deserted island of art supplies? Oh my, that sounds like heaven. Uh, what coloring book? It would definitely have to be a Johanna book. They're my favorite. If I had to choose one of hers, hmm, I would say a deserted island of art supplies. Well, see, with lots of art supplies, I think I'd probably want the artist edition because they're most versatile, but she doesn't have an artist edition of Magical Jungle because I really like Magical Jungle. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Um... I'm going to say Enchanted Forest. Can I take the regular version of Enchanted Forest and the artist edition of Enchanted Forest? Can I take both of them since they're technically the same illustrations, just different paper? Or is that cheating? <laughs> I think definitely Enchanted Forest though. That was my first uh, Johanna book, so it's definitely got a special place. After we finish this flower, we'll flip it over and we'll do a bleed through check. That way you can get an idea of how these markers are doing. I will say one thing about markers. It is so nice not to have to sharpen. That's one thing I really enjoy about them. You know what I was thinking too? We could do one of these days. I don't know, I have to get more confident of faces, I think. But I was thinking it'd be fun if we did a Laura Rafferty page. Or even if we did that for one of our weekend ones, you know? Oh, I forgot about these. These little guys here. Gnomes in the neighborhood with my Arteza color pencils. There you go. Didn't notice time playing with marker tools. Off to bed for me. Night all. Sounds good, Philip. Thank you so much for hanging out. But artist editions have less pages. You'd be out of stuff to color. Oh, that's true, Alyssa. That's true. Okay, then just the standard... Eh, I'll give it to you. Both versions. Okay, cool. Yay! Then both versions of Enchanted Forest. <laughs> okay, I'm going to zoom in here real quick just so you guys can see a little bit closer kind of what we're doing, okay? There we go. All right. I can get a bit better idea of the shading that we're doing here. Just like so. See? It's brown to be a bright picture, too, because we're using a lot of, you know, neon colors. Let's see. Wait for stream to catch up here so I can see how bright it actually is on your screens here. I don't know, the color's off a little bit on my monitor. I should pull the stream up on my phone so I can see how well that's translating here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Professional streamer here on my phone. <laughs> Uh, here, I just want to pull up the live stream here so I can see on another screen just how, oh, look at that. I'm getting an ad. Hello, ad. <laughs> Have a good night, fella. 
That would be fun. Lover art, Laura Swift. Oh, it's great. Yay, Laura Rafferty. See, and we could do it on a weekend one during the day where she could be there. Okay, it's pretty accurate on the screen. I mean, these are really bright colors. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Cool. I'm going to keep that up so I can keep an eye on it there. All right. Nice and close. All right. Okay. Now I want to do this here. Okay. So let's grab... Let's grab... Hmm. We're going to use kind of our teal color. Okay. So just to put in comparison, like here's the neon green. This is the teal. This is the blue. Okay. So we're just... Thanks for the lurks, Cheryl. So we're going to do this teal color. Okay. So now we're going to fill in this. I like this color. One of the other reasons I really like the Stedler fine liners is just because, like I said, I bought a lot of these back in 2015, 2016. Now, I don't use them all the time, but even with age, I store them horizontally. Even with age, they have just lasted forever. They're absolutely just wonderful. I love them. Gosh, if I ever sponsored with Stedler, I would be in heaven. <laughs> These two songs sound too similar. I gotta make mental notes of adjusting this uh, playlist here. Usually when I'm picking them for the playlist, I only use, you know, I listen to the first couple minutes. Okay, now we're gonna use this teal inside here too. You know what this reminds me of? Like a, like a hubcap on a car. You know, there's a circle with all the little lug nuts. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Mia. So we're going to fill this in very carefully. Sheila says, hello everyone. Took some meds for a cold and fell asleep. Not feeling well, but wanted to pop in for a minute to say hi. I'll catch up tomorrow. Have fun everyone. By the way, it's looking great. Thank you, Sheila. I hope you feel better. Get lots of rest, drink water. And then when you wake up, just, you know, binge watch YouTube and, or, yeah, binge watch YouTube and Netflix and, you know. Just relax, rest up. I hope you feel better soon. All right, so there's that one there. Okay, now we're gonna color this side. Make sure we're not blocking it too much here. You could ask Johanna to put in a good word for you. There you go. Yeah, because I think she's uh, a spokesperson more for Stedler, or I don't know if she is for Stedler or not. I know that she's using Stedler, but I'd be like, all right. Do they have an opening? Because I would sure love it. <laughs> There you go, my picture on a box next, right? That'd be amazing. Now, I'm gonna guess that Stedler is more apt to pick artists that uh, are a little bit more well-known. I don't know, I just gotta go viral on YouTube. Maybe they'll do it then. <laughs> okay, uh, since we have the teal there, then we're going to use, let's see, do we wanna use a green? Or blue. You know what we're actually going to do? We're going to use, I think, our neon green here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to use the neon green for the shading on this one. Hi, Anne. Welcome. So we're going to use our neon green here, okay? Right along the outside. Okay. And then we're gonna go along the base here. Okay. The base here. Is there? She has a lot of studded front us. Yeah. Well, and they're great too, because the big part of it is Stedler is very affordable. So, you know, especially if you're a college student starting out, it's something that you can afford. Like when I was in college, I used all Stedler products. Like it's it's yeah, it's great. I love Stedler. How long have I missed? I didn't get the notification. Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. Not too much. Not too much. Everything you see here is what we're doing. So yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. Now we're going to use our teal green again. Okay. We're going to go right along that edge here. Okay. Right along that edge. 
go. Okay. And we're going to go along the edge here. There we go. And right along there. Let's see. Oh, Lisa's. Did I miss Lisa? Oh, Lisa. Sounds good, Lisa. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. She has other products still. Yeah, she does. I saw her post the other day with her little with her little pencil nubs. Yeah, because their pencils and fine liners are great. I just know she moved on from uh, promoing the, the Stedler pencils all the time. Last year, she started doing the, the Faber-Castells, which were great, too. Okay, using that there. go all right that's our teal I use their pigment liners for my doodles oh same here I've got a whole yeah got a whole cup full of them over here some of them Oop. but yeah they're my go-to okay so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna use that same orange that we used here we're gonna use this in the very middle okay she doesn't have Faber-Castell. Oh, no, no. She doesn't have Faber-Castell Johanna products. But uh, last year, she started using Faber-Castell products. So, like, when she sent out all of her boxes uh, for her last book that came out, all of the promo boxes that went out, uh, we all got a set of 24 Faber-Castells. And if you look, like, in her recent, one of her recent story posts with her new book where she was practicing color in the pages, she was using the Faber-Castells. So, yeah, it's not that she has Faber-Castell Johanna products. It's just that she has started using the Faber-Castells in a lot of her work. Versus only the... Uh, Stedler. I saw watercolor Stedler pencils with her name on them. Yeah, I think she's still got a lot of, um, because I've got a box with her picture on them still. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to use this pink around the outside here just a tiny bit because it is such a small circle, so we don't want to, you know, drown it too much with the pink. We still want the orange to stand out. We're actually just going to leave it like that. We're not going to do any additional blending. Okay, so now we're going to grab this light color blue, the same blue that we used on the ring here. Yeah, she was sending out their pencils. Yeah, exactly. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to add our blue here. She just got her new book. Yes, I saw that. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see what's in there. Yeah, she had a full stack of them. I'll be curious to see how many she's going to send out this year. We're using that same blue here. You have the watercolor pencils down there. See, I haven't tried those yet. How do you like them, Kimmy? Have you tried them in comparison to any other watercolor pencils? Okay, let's see. We're also going to do, actually, I think that's, we'll go ahead and jump right in. We're going to use that medium blue again that we used before. Okay. And we're just going to do like a single little line in the corner of all this. Okay. Me too, her drawing book. Yeah, exactly. They have two different types, Kimmy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she's got a new book coming out. It's going to be a how-to draw book, uh, like a how, how to draw like little inky drawings and everything. And if you take a look at her Instagram, I don't recall if you're on Instagram or not, but she just uh, posted here, actually, because I totally screenshotted it. Let me pull up a picture of it. What would you do if she made an appearance in chat watching your stream? Oh my goodness, I would be so excited. <laughs> On, uh, for the Color Me Festive, she, uh, she shared my stream on her stories, which was really cool. 
Okay, so I screenshotted her picture. I'm going to zoom out here so everyone can see it. Move this so I don't smear anything. Here is the stack of books. Make sure it's nice and in focus here. Here we go. So these are the books right here. It's nice. For some reason, I thought they were thinner, but they're nice and thick. They almost look like Inky Ivy thick. But yeah, so those are the books. <laughs> this was, she posted this along with it. But yeah, it's super exciting. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful those books look. How to draw inky wonderlands. That's what it is. So yeah, super, super exciting. You can see down here in the corner too. She looks like she's testing them out. There's some tracing paper in between pages and everything. So yeah, super, super exciting. Yeah, so for those who don't have Instagram or didn't see it, that is, uh, that is the new book. No, not yet waiting on you, Emily. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I know, right? It's so exciting. All right, let's make sure we're nice and in focus here. There we go. There we go. She has tags on pre-order too. Yes, I saw those tags. Those are cool. <laughs> I want it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, let's see. What was I doing? Uh, oh, right. The blue. The blue, the blue, the blue. Blue, the blue, the blue, 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 blue. All right, we added that kind of... Oh, we were adding that darker blue here. Yeah, so super, super exciting stuff. Hi, Victoria. Welcome, welcome. We're just working on some shading with some little Stedler fine liner markers. Nice and bright butterfly. Okay, we're going back to using that kind of bright blue. Just a little bit. Just a tad. Just like a single line mix that blue. When you get lines that are so small, sometimes the harsher lines aren't super noticeable, you know, so you don't need to work too hard to blend it. Maybe. Nice thing is, is these dry pretty quick, so you don't need to worry too much about smearing also. Hi, Michaela. Welcome. We are just working on our little Hannah Carlson butterfly here. Blending with some Stedler fine liners. Okay, there we go. There's that blue. So I've been trying to think about what I want to do on these greens, and I think honestly I want to do the yellow. So we are gonna grab we're gonna grab our neon yellow here, okay? And we are going to go right along here. So how I'm choosing these is I'm trying not to put too much of the same kind of color right next to each other. Just trying to find a balance, you know, something to draw the eye all the way around, something that keeps it moving. There's that. Okay. Now we're going to grab our traditional yellow. Okay. Same yellow we used before. Okay. We're just putting a little bit, it's hardly even noticeable, but it's the details that help, you know? We're just putting a little bit in the corners here, okay? Just to keep it from being a completely flat color. Okay, there we go. All right, that's the yellow there. Now we're gonna grab that light blue again, okay? Or the kind of kind of neonish blue. All right, and we're gonna put that here on these top parts, okay? Right. Then we're going to grab that super light pink again. Thank you, Mia. And thank you, Michaela. 
Yeah, it's coming along. I'm gonna do pink here, okay? Just a little bit. I'm not gonna bother adding any other colors because it's such a small space. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and put some pink on these ones. Just trying to balance all this color so we don't have too many of the same kind of colors next to each other. And like I said, those of you with the 42 count or even the 60 count are gonna have more options for colors. So feel free to mix it up to whichever colors you wanna use. All right, we're gonna use that neon blue again. We're gonna put that smack dab in the middle. Boop. Okay, we are however going to use a little bit of that darker blue just on one little side here. Okay, now we're gonna take this again. Make sure we're in frame here, that'd be helpful. Just like so, okay. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. See how that's coming along there? Super nice, bright colors. And it's not just straight flat color either because we're adding a little bit of shading, a little bit of depth. Okay. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna move, actually, you know what? Rather than moving outwards, let's do this part here. You think? Maybe, maybe we should just finish wing. Maybe we should skip, yeah, let's just stick with the wings. We'll just keep going with this and then we'll do the lower part because I think, let's see, what time is it? It's only 9.58, we're still doing good. We've only been live for an hour and a half. We were able to get all of this done. So now we've kind of got our color scheme so now we can keep branching out, you know what I mean? Need to get the new colors. Oh, me, t me too, Mia. I, I, I'd be very excited to get the 60 count. Okay. So, what am I using? I am using Stedler Fine Liners, Michaela. We had some requests to do some markers, and I know some little tricks to blend with the Stedler Fine Liners, so these are the ones that we're using. And I have the 36 count set. I have no more than that, but now they have 42 count sets and they have 60 count sets. So yeah, we are using the Stedler Fine Liners. All right, Let's zoom on in here. Okay, and we're gonna take that light pink, the same pink that we used here, and we're gonna add it here, okay? Remember, don't spend too long on the paper. Kind of just lightly skim right across it here. It's like you're a little bug that's floating on water. You don't wanna to spend too long on it, nice and light. Oh, I don't have those, I have the Arteza. Yeah, I so I have the Arteza ink conic pens. I don't have the Arteza fine liners. And so um, I don't know how different the two are. And I didn't want to show you how to use one when I knew, I, I'm familiar enough with the Stedler that I know how to blend these. So, and I knew that we could get a positive result from them, which is why I chose these ones. <laughs> Line finers. <laughs> the 48 set. Oh, see, that'd be great. Okay. There we go. Pink there. Now we're going to pop on over. Add the pink on this side. Okay. We're going to keep going back and forth so that we keep up with it. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. We're just working on our little butterfly here with our Stedler fine liners. Perfect. All right, so that's the light pink. All right, now we're gonna grab that mid pink here that we used here. Now remember, we're doing something that's dark. You know, you don't wanna linger too long. Have any of you heard about the shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival in California? No, I haven't. I haven't really been online much today. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our outline of it. Oh, scary, Sarah. Okay, so we're using that pink. We're gonna outline this just a bit, okay? 
<laughs> They're great markers, Michaela. I would highly recommend them. I absolutely love them. Oh, you heard in Canada. Okay. I'm always scared to use water-based markers in my book. This looks wonderful. Yeah. Uh, well, the great thing. Oh, that's right. I said we were going to do a bleed check. Okay. So we've done max about three layers on these. Okay. We're going to flip it over. I'm going to touch fingers to both sides here so we can see. I've got one finger on this side, one finger on this side. And they're going to match up. Okay. So my fingers are touching. So this will tell us exactly where it's at. Okay. So here's where the head of the green bug is, which means it's going to you know, branch off this way. The only bleed through that we have is this teeny tiny little pink spot right here, a super little. So we've done about three layers of markers here and it has barely bled through at all. And this, this isn't a photocopy. This is the, the page straight from the book. I cut it out because it's easier for me to move around. Um, but yeah, there's been zero bleed through. And that's the great thing about water-based markers versus alcohol markers. Alcohol markers will just bleed straight through. For instance, I've been using the Arteza art markers and it's not the Arteza brand specifically, it's any art markers because they are alcohol-based markers. You can see how much they bled through. And this is uh, artist edition paper. So, and there's this, and then you can see how much it bled through. Like these are all the back sides of it. And it's just because of the kind of markers they are, alcohol tends to soak right through. But because they're water-based, they are more friendly than, uh, you know, more, more friendly to coloring books. It happened on Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I haven't heard about it. My boss was there that day, but left two hours before it happened. Oh, scary, Sarah. Yeah, it wasn't today. I heard two. Three were killed. The guy in his 20s, 13. Oh, that's bad. That's too bad. Well, did they at least catch the person? I need a magnifying glass to do that. There you go. All right, we're going to finish outlining that. Makes me glad that both me and my husband don't like large crowds, so we didn't go. Oh, for sure. I'm going to tell you, sometimes, sometimes people just suck, you know? It just, it's, it's too bad. It's too bad that you know, in a country where we're supposed to, you know, live free, that there are times that we have to live in fear, but that's life and that's people and it's just, it's, it's not fair and it's terrible. Thanks, Kimmy. Yeah, no problem, Sarah. Because there are definitely ways, Sarah, that you can blend with the water-based markers. A big part of it is not oversaturating your paper. You know, lots of little light layers and just kind of going around. Oh, that's good, Sarah. That's good. All right, so we're going to grab that light pink again. And we're going to go along the edge of that darker pink that we just used. Okay, we're doing little circles. Try not to make too big of circles just because we have a small space to work with. Agreed, Kimmy. Strongly agree. Okay, Sandy, I see I didn't even follow my consist consistency. I didn't add a line here. That's really a shame. There we go. All right, so there's that pink, and we're going to move over and do the same over here. I'm going to turn this just because it's going to be a little bit easier on me here. Nice thing is too with markers is I don't have to worry about a light glare. Sometimes with pencil, there's a little bit of a, a shine to it. So um, I am not going to put a list of colors 
in the description for this one, only because I don't have names to give them to. You know, I could write down the sort of pinkish one and the sort of neon yellow one. Um, I think that the colors will speak for themselves and anybody that wants to follow along will kind of get my description in there because otherwise there's really no way for me to write them down, you know? That's why I need to get the newer ones because the newer ones have names for them, but I don't have names other than the sort of pinky one and the middle pinky one and that greeny one and the one that's like the greeny one but slightly different than the greedy one, you know? <laughs> Not that they're the best descriptive colors. Aw, oh, thanks, Mia. Oh, you most definitely do, Kimmy. Everybody should have these. If you if you like fine liners, these are the ones, yeah, that you should have. Thank you, Sarah. I love it when you can really see it come together. And this is going faster than our previous pictures just because you don't have to sharpen markers. You know, it goes so much quicker. We're using that other pink to kind of, just like we did on the other side, we're kind of softening that edge a little bit. go all right now what we're gonna do it's hard to match up numbers exactly exactly I've been doing lots of coloring since my surgery on my feet how did that go Michaela I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here okay so let's see now what we're gonna do we're gonna use our neon yellow okay We're gonna use neon yellow and see how these have kind of lines we're gonna match these lines over here okay so we're gonna fill in here okay yeah I'm definitely gonna have to make some changes to this uh, playlist a little bit of course I say that every time I skip it I should just skip it without saying it <laughs> bring it attention back to the fact that I didn't quite choose perfect songs for this. Sounds good, Kimmy. Yeah, that's why I asked for markers. They're faster, exactly. Yeah, we are just trucking along here. Okay, we're also gonna use the yellow on this one here. Okay. We're using that kind of neon yellow a little bit. Okay. Not those. I have different ones I just looked. Oh, okay. Is it a butterfly or a moth? Pretty sure it's a butterfly, Tyler. You want to look up the exact definition of a butterfly or a moth? Oh, you have dual tips. There you go. They're felt tipped. Okay. Butterfly. Yes. <laughs> So I know there's got to be an exact definition of, you know, the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Out of its shape, or color, or abdomen, ab abdomen, ab not abdomen, abdomen. <laughs> here we go. Okay. And we're going to do it here as well. We're gonna have to use some green soon to draw in with matching of the abdomen. You have the Arteza fine liners. Okay, yeah. See, I haven't used those and I don't have them. So I was just like, eh. I know I'm comfortable with the Stedlers and I know how to shade them. So I was like, that's, that's what we're gonna use. All right, we're gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see. Okay. So we're gonna use, we're gonna press a little bit harder here. Use that traditional yellow here. Aw, oh, thanks, Kimmy. I don't know, when I zoom out, is the is the shading translating well in the video? Or does it just all look like flat color? I feel like it's translating. I don't know, maybe it'll look better once we take the picture. Oh, you girls are so nice. 
All right, so traditional yellow here. Oh, let's move up here, center that a little bit more. Okay, so still using that traditional yellow here, just in the corners. Aw, thanks, Mia. I do love watching a page come together. Okay, there we go, this here. Time for me to call it a night. Good night, all. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we're going to use that traditional yellow here. Like I said, we don't need to go over on another layer with the neon just because it's subtle enough that you don't see a harsh line. Okay, it's translating. Okay, awesome, Melissa. I know I can see it, but it's like, I don't know how well the video is capturing it, you know? So we're just going through, adding that in the corners, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and grab that blue, okay? So it's that lighter blue that we used on this same ring, okay? And we are going to use that here. Also nice and perky tonight because I had some evening coffee. We'll see how late I'm going to be up tonight. <laughs> I'll probably regret it later, but I'm feeling wide awake now. I really didn't want to be yawning on stream. There we go. Get that blue. Aw, thanks, Sarah. Two more surgeries left to go. Oh my goodness, Michaela. Aw, thanks, Kimmy. You're all so sweet. Well, and if anybody's wanting to get the Stedler Fine Liners or the Daydreams book, I have the Amazon links uh, in the description below as well. All right, so there's that blue. We're going to go over and put the blue on this side as well. Complete reconstruction on right and left foot, and then he has to go in and redo on my right. Oh, man, Michaela. Hopefully the recovery time will be nice and quick and you'll be able to rest up and heal well. Here we go, finishing up with that blue. I need coffee. Here you go. Well, yeah, you've got all, you know, the, the skin is so thin. You got all those little nerve endings on your feet. I totally get it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to use that sort of medium blue that we were using before. This one here. Okay. Ordered the book too. Oh, perfect, Mia. We're going to put it in these corners just a little bit. Okay. There's not much space, so you really want to just do one single little line so that you have just enough room to blend away that harsh line. Okay. So just a teeny tiny bit. And before we blend, we're going to go to the other side and we're going to use this on there as well. Okay. So we're going to flip that around just like so. Exactly, Alyssa. It'll be worth it when they're all working correctly. Oh, that's right, Mia. I keep forgetting. I got to do that Amazon Canada thing. I had my post-op today with the doctor who messed up my tooth extraction twice. I felt so awkward. Oh, man. I'm assuming that they finally got everything out, though. How awkward would that be? Post-op, oh, by the way, we missed again. You'd be like, what? I demand your license revoked. Either that or go back for a refresher on how to take the teeth out. <laughs> All right, now we're going to use that same lighter blue again. And we're just going to gently go over that little dark blue to try and soften that harsh line. Go. 
All right, there's that blue. Now we're gonna flip it again. Dang, that's crazy. Yes, the Arteza are a bit darker, Kelly. My gums were sore for a week and a half. Oh, that's rough. Well, my basic thing is that as far as which fine liners to use, I choose the lightest colors I have for the base colors, and then I go up just a couple degrees for the darker ones. I don't want to do anything that's too dark, otherwise it'll be harder to blend it. She had one job, Sarah. <laughs> there you go. I smell a lawsuit. Perhaps. Perhaps. You had one job. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna grab that neon, let's see, did it, was it neon green that I used? No, it was this really light green, okay? Thanks, Michaela. We're gonna use that really light green that we used here as the base color for the abdomen, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it inside these here, okay? Inside there and inside these. Okay. All right, so that's that side. Now we're gonna flip it. Now we're gonna do this side, okay? In here. And in here. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're choosing your colors is the colors that you use in the larger section, in the larger sections are gonna determine kind of the tone of your page. So we're gonna zoom out for just a second. We're not done with that green yet. But keep in mind that these leaves, whatever color you choose, are really gonna stand out. So you really wanna think about what do what color do I want to express? Honestly, for me, I'm leaning towards the blue. And then we can do a different color on the outside of the leaf, and then we'll do another color that'll really pop right inside here in these, in these bigger areas here. So I'm thinking we'll do blue here because I really like the idea of the blue. And then we you know, use the red and the orange for the accents. Okay, so this is the light green we just used. Now we're gonna use that kind of medium one. See, this was the moss green we used before, but we're not gonna use moss green. We're just using this medium green that we used before on the abdomen with these green dots here, okay? 12 weeks, no weight bearing. Mm, maybe she needed coffee that day. Perhaps, perhaps. All right, so we're gonna use this green here. We're just going to use a little bit on the bottom here, okay? Or on the side, depending on which day you, way you have this pointed. Use a little bit in the corner. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna flip it on the other side, give that a little bit of time to dry. Okay, same thing, a little bit on the bottom. Okay. A little bit on the corners. Okay. Now we're gonna grab that light green again. Okay. And we're just gonna draw, you know, I don't even know if it needs it that much, but we'll do it just so that there's, we can be sure that there's no harsh lines there. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna flip it over. Technically, I could probably sue because it could be considered medical malpractice, but I wasn't affected enough, in my opinion, to really do something. That's fair. If you don't know what color to use, stick to a warm palette or a cool palette. You can do warm and add some pops of color, too. A color wheel helps a lot. Learning color theory is so helpful. Oh, exactly, Alyssa. Yeah, a color wheel is going to be your best friend. And you can actually purchase color wheels. You can either make your own or you can purchase color wheels uh, like on Amazon where they have a little wheel that you can turn and it really helps to match up colors. Yeah, color wheels are going to be your best friend in choosing colors. They're great. Okay, so now we're up to that side. Now we're moving on to these leaves, okay? And like I said, I think I want to go ahead and stick with blue, and then we'll add some other colors here to kind of bring it all in. So we're going to stick with this nice light blue, okay? So let's turn it here. We'll zoom in a little bit, just like so. Double check our focus, make sure we're nice and in focus here. 
All right, now we're just gonna quickly and lightly fill in this entire thing with blue. Then we'll go back over with uh, our darker colors, okay? So just quickly and lightly fill it all in. Okay. If it helps, you can fill in each individual line so that you're not going over your other lines too much. Because the more you go over a line, the darker it's going to be. You can get them for $5 on Amazon. There you go. In fact, I have a color wheel that I made online that I could probably share in the Facebook group. It doesn't have a fancy turn wheel, but it is your basic color wheel uh, that will help you with this. It's just got, you know, the basic primary and tertiary colors, and then it's got a couple little notes next to it to let you know, you know, what's primary, what's tertiary, you know, that kind of thing. So maybe just for help, I can post that in the Facebook group later. I've got to find it on my computer, but... See, now if you're using some of those uh, tripless colors, that could be useful in this area because it's, you know, a larger space. So I just found out there's a Jerry's Artorama in Knoxville, which is around or a little over an hour from me. I hate traveling. I detest Knoxville, so I don't see me going there. There you go. Although an hour is not bad. That would definitely be a day trip to be sure. I'd be like, all right, going to the art shop for the day. It would have to be like a worth it kind of trip. I've had some bad medical doctors too, but it's legal in Canada. What's legal in Canada? To be a bad medical doctor? <laughs> in that case, remind me never to go for medical in Canada. <laughs> Just filling that all in with blue. Blue is also like my favorite color. <laughs> ah, yes, but remember Loretta, uh, or Kimmy, Loretta uh, has vehicle limitations, so I think her daughter might have to, you'd have to convince her to give up the car for a day. But you know, do it. It's a day trip. Be a good day of it. Go see a movie. Go to the art shop. That'd be so much fun. That's why I have to have my feet done is because the doctor botched the knee surgery. Oh man, he was supposed to have done a scope, but he replaced it instead and messed it up. Oh, that's rough. All right, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to fill in the other with blue. I know it's kind of tedious and a pain to like go back and forth like this, but when you go back, then you know you're done with that particular shape, you know? I'm not the only one, or so I'm not the only one who hates going there, so that's a nope just because I hate traveling. There you go. They're allowed to be paid for chemo and other stuff. Oh, okay, okay. I was in the hospital for six months fighting an infection. Oof, that's rough. Yeah, hospital stuff can be no bueno. I'm willing to let her do the next attraction, but if she does it again, I'll never have her touch me again. Oh, man. Hi, RB, welcome. We're working on our butterfly here. Here, I'll zoom out so you can see where we're at with it. We're using our Studler Fine Liners. Nice bright colors. So yeah, it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. I just pre-ordered her new book and, and her day-to-day -day calendar. Awesome, Kimberly, that'll be so much fun. I am so excited. They're allowed to do a lot of craziness here. Oh man. Let's see, 1026, yep, cat is at the door. <laughs> he says, hey, I want my snack. Here's my snack. Let 
so excited. Tomorrow I'm going to the chiropractor, so that should be fun. Is it weird that I enjoy the chiropractor? I really do. It's absolutely wonderful. I definitely look forward to every chiropractic appointment. Did you cut out and copy the page? I didn't copy the page, Kat, but I did cut it out. Um, normally I would leave it in the book, but the, the fact of the matter is I've got like five inches away on either side of this paper. I've got a tripod leg and then in front. So if I have the full book, if I'm trusting a turning, it's constantly gonna be knocking the camera. So um, I enjoy cutting out anyway, because I have more freedom of the page, but I just used my X-Acto knife for this time and cut it out of the book. I have the artist edition and I debated about using that, but I knew not everybody was gonna be using the artist edition and I can saturate the paper so much more in the artist edition. And so I wanted to be on the same playing field as everybody else so that I didn't say, oh, here, let's go over it four or five times. All the while, everybody else's pages are, you know, getting torn and stuff because it's oversaturated. So I just cut it out of the book and used this page because I wanted to make sure that I was giving everybody correct information on how many layers to do. Yeah, there we go. Exactly what Sarah said. Anyone else buffering? Uh, not seeing any notices. If it's buffering too much, Alyssa, you can always close it and reopen it. I feel like I should be dancing a jig, I'll be it carefully, considering I can still get around even if I do snap, crackle, pop. There you go. What the heck? Okay, mine stopped buffering. Okay, good, Alyssa. Slight, slight buffy, not bad. Okay, mine is fine, no buffering here. I was in top chat this whole time. Oh, Kimmy! <laughs> That's okay. I like the day-to-day -day calendar in a box as I can frame ones I want to put on my craft room wall. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I've got a few uh, calendar ones. Oh, there's that one here. The Christmas one that's snuck in here. Yeah, I'll have to readjust our playlist for next time. Give me a top chat party. <laughs> there you go. All right, that's all the blue colored. All right, so now we're gonna grab this medium blue once again okay so here's the comparison like here's the one that looks like a true you know like a true blue this is the medium blue this is what we're going to use just me partying by myself <laughs> oh can't me <laughs> okay it's so confusing having another sarah here <laughs> there you go and i'll say sarah this sarah that and you're like what all right so now this is our medium blue we're going to use oh kitty's getting fed all right, we're gonna do a little bit on the edge here. We have a little bit more freedom here just because we have a larger space that we're working with. Okay. So we're gonna go right around the edge here. A little bit here. A little bit here. Okay, we're using that medium blue. We're just doing a light line across because then we're gonna blend it back with the other blue. Okay. Emily, I've been gone for like 20 minutes because I was searching. I have many supplies, too many supplies, and guess what I have for you? A brand new set of twin felt tip markers. Oh, that's awesome, Barbara. I bought them twice, oh goodness. Well, I appreciate that, Barbara. I just don't have anywhere for you to send it right now. Like, I have my home address. I'm actually thinking about um, setting up a P.O. box because I've had a request for a couple of uh, a couple of them. So, Barbara, I will keep you posted. I'm going to look into that this week, a, uh, a P.O. box. And then if I get that set up, then I can, uh, you know, set up an address for, for people to, to send stuff to. So, um, yeah, I will keep you posted, okay? But thank you, that is so sweet. I'd be excited to try those out. Meow meow, yep. <laughs> the other one hopped down, she's munching now. All right, we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do this here. Okay. Let's see, are we still? Oh, I almost grabbed the wrong marker. Look at me. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're gonna do our little lines here there we go
Yeah, the Kimmy, I'm thinking I should, because this has come up a couple times. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that it Because I had one for a while. Uh, I had one for a while, and then I wasn't using it much, and I was like, hey, what's the point? But now that I've started doing the live stream, uh, there have been a handful of situations that have come up, and I'm just like, dang, I should really get one. So, yeah, I'm going to look into that this week and get one set up. I honestly meant to do it today, and then we got wrapped up with doing stuff, and then by the time we got home, it was so hot out, and I had to give the kids baths, and I was like, oh, I'm exhausted, I'm not going anywhere else today. <laughs> All right, now we're going to flip it back around and we're going to grab our light blue again. Okay. And then we're going to blend that in. Okay. So we're coloring right along that dark blue edge here. Okay. And then we're going to go back with another light one to uh, kind of soften this darker blue as well. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I will they're not too expensive and I think that it would be it would be useful I mean there's the convenience of having stuff you know shipped straight to your house but you know when you start to use it more and more a PO box just makes sense Yeah, we did. Bar Bara. Are you able to hear my audio? I know that we had this issue with Donna, so I'm gonna type it. Just in case she's not hearing it. Nights are getting cooler already. Whew, that would be nice. It could be she just wasn't able to hear me. No, I don't think that she can see what we're typing. Maybe she only has top chat? Is it possible to message someone on YouTube? Thanks, Michaela. All right, now we're gonna go through just a little bit more. Just super light to help blend that in. Well, but if she can't hear me, because I responded, so I'm wondering if maybe she just needs to refresh her stream if she can't hear. Oh, you here? Okay, okay, perfect. Help! Okay, Barbara, try switching. Uh, check to see if you are in live chat versus top chat. Because if you're in only top chat, then it may not show. Yeah, because everybody, we can all see you. Barbara Thompson on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, Barbara, we can all, we can all... We can all see you messaging and everything. So maybe either refresh, refresh the stream or, uh, or, um, uh, check to see if you're in top chat versus live chat. Yeah, I don't have a PO box yet, but I'm going to get one, Barbara. So I will keep you posted. Okay. Yeah, everybody else is chatting. So just check up at the top, Barbara, to see if you say top chat or live chat. If it's top chat, see if you can change it to live chat. Mm 
that could be the issue. I find it interesting that YouTube even has that feature. If you want to, Barbara, you can message me on, uh, I don't know if you have uh, Instagram or not, you can message me there too. Because I don't have Facebook Messenger on my phone and so I don't always see the Facebook messages right away. Which is why, if anybody else ever wants to send me a message, um, send me a message through Emily Illustrator instead of my personal Facebook, because with my personal Facebook, it'll go to like that option where, you know, if, if you're not already friends with them, it goes, it gets filed away in that little section. And sometimes I won't see those for like weeks, but for the Emily Illustrator Facebook, uh, those messages will go right to me. Oh, perfect. Welcome back, Barbara. Yes, we see you. We see you. All right. There's those blues. Okay. All right, now we're gonna choose, we're gonna do not the, not the bright orange, not like the neon orange. We're gonna do kind of that pinky orange on the outside here, okay? There you go. Uh, that's fair, Mia, that's fair. I just gotta get bigger. <laughs> Hi, cat. Yeah, I just gotta get to be a bigger stream. There you go. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fill that in here. I feel like we're making quite a bit of progress though. go all right now we're gonna switch it over do that same color here okay you didn't see her out of your party there you go your top chat party and there's a lot of people chatting at once I get that yeah because like twitch has a thing called like slow mode so it slows stuff down and you know auto mods and that kind of thing so yeah once I get you know like 100, 200 viewers a time. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the day we're at like 200 viewers? That would be amazing. I have a feeling the, the viewership might climb once I start doing more daytime streams because then that opens up the realm uh, of watching live for uh, people in the UK as well. So that's handy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab that sort of medium pink. For instance, here is the Neon pink, here is like a dark pink. This is the medium one. We're using the medium one. Okay. So we're gonna add, actually let's flip it over to the more dry side here. Okay. We're gonna add medium pink there, there, there. So basically we're adding it to the tops and bottoms of these lines, okay? There are Pete's comments on me sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. There we go. All right, now we're gonna flip it over. What is the difference between top chat and live chat? Um, so with top chat, it just kind of filters out what a lot of people says sometimes. Uh, it's meant for helping to filter out spam, you know, just like trolls or, you know, ad messages if somebody's popping in there um, so that you can just see the good stuff. But because it's a smaller stream, uh, it just tends to cut out a lot of stuff. So live chat will give you all the messages that are happening in chat. Okay. There we go. All right, now we got that. We're gonna take that orange again. I've never tried blending water-based markers. They're too hard on paper. This looks very nice. Oh, thanks, Kat. Yeah, it's all about, um, like, I try not to do any more than three, four layers max, and I try to add light layers. You don't spend too much time on one spot, so I'm really sorry, but I need to go to bed. It's 4.40 a.m. Sounds good, Anne. Get some sleep. We'll see you later. All right, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to blend over this a little bit. Yeah, so just not lingering in any one spot for too long. Is 
is really the key with blending the water base markers. Yeah, everything everybody says, exactly. The Stedler fine liners are great for blending like this. Okay. And now we're going to flip it to the other side. I should have coffee before stream every day. I'm feeling great. <laughs> Wide awake. A little hungry for a snack, just like the kitty cat, but too bad live chat isn't the default. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you can use a watercolor ground. That is true. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we want to do next? Okay, I think we're going to use the green. Have you ever used watercolor pens? I haven't. I know Artisa has some, and they've definitely intrigued me, but I just don't know how to use them, so I was a little nervous about it. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and use our light green here, the same green that we used on the main body of the abdomen here. I was gifted some and I have no idea how to use them. Yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. We got a little bit of lag here, a little bit of buffering. Oh no, choppy again. I'm gonna wait a second till this evens out before I get started here. Cause I don't wanna start a new color if it's just going to stop. Let's see. I'm gonna move this so that I know when it's caught up. Choppy a bit. All right, let's give it a second. Let's see if it evens out a bit. See, I'm just gonna keep moving it so I'll know when it's smooth from me moving it that it will have caught up. Let's see. Can you show us some ideas for the blank butterfly in the book, either on Facebook or in a video tutorial? Yeah, for sure, Alyssa. All right, are we caught up yet? Mm -hmm. Is the stream happy yet? Give it a minute, give it a minute. I see it's still jumping around. It'll get there, it'll get there. Hang in there, folks. <laughs> Hang in there. Let's see. Just giving it a second. I don't want you to miss anything. Okay, okay, I think we're caught up. All right. So yeah, I could definitely show you some ideas for the blank butterfly, it'd be fun. In fact, okay question chat. Would you like me to take a break with the colors right now and instead of doing one more color before the end of stream, would you like me to pull out the other butterfly page and we can do some uh, designs in there? Now it's good? Okay. So yeah. Do you want me to stop with the color right now and instead of doing one more color before the end, show a few designs on the blank butterfly? Yay? Nay? Let me know. I'm gonna give you guys it takes about 30 seconds, I think, behind is, is the default here. So yeah, I'm gonna wait a second. Let, uh, let the stream catch up. And you can let me know. Let me grab the book while I'm waiting. And I'll find that page here. Let's see. Blank butterfly, where you at? Here it is. Here it is. Stream is good here, okay. that could be fun. I could get on board with that. More colors here? Okay, cool. We'll save it for another time then. Have a good night, cat. Thanks for hanging out. Do it, Emily. Okay, we've got one vote for more colors, one vote for do it. Ooh, we need a tiebreaker. We need someone as the tiebreaker. <laughs> Who's gonna be the tiebreaker? We got one for colors, one for designs. Let's see. 
hate this delay in stream. Like, I wish I could respond so quickly, but it's like once I say something, I gotta wait a few minutes. I've seen some used washi tapes on the butterfly. Oh, that's interesting. Gotta have a tiebreaker. <laughs> I wish it was immediate. I wish there wasn't a delay. I think it's starting to catch up to the part where I said tiebreaker. Kimmy! <laughs> Me is chuckling. <laughs> okay, well, no tiebreaker. Hmm. Colors? Loretta six colors? All right, Loretta's my tiebreaker. We'll keep going with colors for a bit and then, uh, yeah. Because let's see, we have been two hours, 19 minutes. People, <laughs> people. <laughs> All right, we'll do a bit more color. Yes. <laughs> Designs. Okay, how about this? Uh, I mean, because it's only 2.20. Why don't we continue with colors up until this point? And then we'll do a couple designs. We could go a little bit late tonight. Stream's still going strong. We could do that. All right, so we're using that light green here. <laughs> Dang it, how about colorful de designs? There you go. You ladies crack me up. All right, we're gonna do both, okay? We can keep the stream going a little bit, a little bit later than we usually do. All right, so we're gonna do a few more colors. We'll extend it out to here and then we'll do a couple designs in there, okay? We'll do both. <laughs> All right, so there's that light green. We're gonna flip it around. We're gonna do the light green on this side. Yeah, stream's still going strong. We're good. Lightly filling that in with that light green. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna grab more colored here. Okay, okay, late night streams, there you go. <laughs> oh, you can ladies crack me up. All right, so we're gonna do this kind of medium green here. Okay. Amanda says, hi, I'd love for you to demonstrate how you use the color wheel to pick out colors sometime. Of course, Amanda, definitely. I will add that. We're gonna, actually, I'm gonna write that right here before I forget. We're gonna write color wheel demo. Okay, it is right, whoop, right there. Okay, I'll put that on my list and we'll definitely do that. I think that'd be a great idea, Amanda. In fact, maybe I'll order one of those. Uh, I'll have mine and then I'll order one of those turnable ones. Kelly says, I'm good. One of those turnable ones from Amazon so that we can use that also. All right, so we're gonna use that medium green down here. Go in a little bit more because I kind of want that to have a bit of contrast down there. Okay, medium green, medium green. Okay, then we're gonna turn it here. And you know what? If you're wanting those designs, Johanna's book that's gonna be coming out is gonna be great for that because she's gonna be showing you how to do stuff. But. I love doing those kind of like mandala -y designs. Sarah would be great at that. All right, now we're gonna do the light green here. We're gonna flip, oh, bonk my elbow. I'm gonna flip it around. Okay, we're just gonna add a little bit more of that light green. Okay. Put it there. Okay, flip it around again. I'm making everybody dizzy. A little bit of light green. Remember the key is just keep the hand light. Pressing harder is gonna leave more ink on the paper, which is going is where you're gonna get your tearing and your ripping, okay? All right, uh, and then we're gonna grab blue again. So we're gonna grab that light blue. Okay. We're gonna put that here and here. Okay, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Sound effects with the coloring. Beep, boop, up. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. I have one of the turntable ones and really have no idea how to use it. <laughs> there we go. 
item. Alright, there's the blue. Okay, we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna add the blue on this side. I've got the fan on and uh, the kitty is sleeping right underneath of it. She keeps flicking her ears. I think the, the wind is bothering her, but it's hot here, kitty. We're not turning off the fan. Okay. there. All right. Then we're going to grab that medium blue again and whoop, turn it around. There we go. A little bit of the medium blue, just a smidge, just a tiny bit. Ah, thanks, Michaela. <laughs> well, I'm glad everybody's enjoying themselves. I'm telling you, coffee every night now from when I do these, because I had one stream where I was just, I could not stop yawning, man. Go figure. Take care of small kids all day and stay up late. You're bound to be a little sleepy. <laughs> there we go. There we are. All right. Now we're going to use that blue. Just soften that up just a smidge. So using that same light blue. Okay. Careful not to oversaturate. and flip it around again. <laughs> you all are so sweet. You're the reason I keep on coming back. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Okay. Now the real question is, what do we put here? I'm leaning towards yellow. That's what I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Although, I don't know if I learned any lesson. I got some yellow nail polish today. I was thinking, oh, it might be good. And oh man, yellow nail polish on my skin tone is a mistake. <laughs> yep, good coffee. Uh, let's see, because we have yellow here. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna do yellow. Balance it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna grab our neon yellow. Okay. And we're gonna go here. And with a nice light hand, we're gonna fill that in. Okay. Nice light hand. Amanda says, I'm off to bed. It looks amazing. Can't wait to try this out. Awesome, Amanda. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. And then we're going to fill in this here. Nice, light, kind of quick hand. Don't need to add too much. Actually, that yellow looks really nice. I'm glad we chose that. In. Bright yellow, exactly. A nice little, nice little neon yellow. Okay, put that back around. Now we could do something a little bit different, which I think we are. We have not used this color yet. Now this is one of the light oranges. I'm going to pull out the other oranges so you can compare, so we don't get confused about which one we're using. Okay, so for instance. This is the neon orange. This is that kind of pinky neon orange that we've been using. This is the standard dark orange. This is the light orange. The light orange is the one we're gonna be using, okay? Aloria says, nice, got a lot done. I left for dinner. Sounds good, Aloria. Here, let me zoom out, you can see. There we go. We're getting quite a bit done, actually. Alyssa says, maybe drink some tea for live streams instead of coffee. Get a little boost, but not too much of a boost to keep you up all night. Probably not a bad idea, Alyssa. <laughs> Oh, dinner was good, Laurie. Laurie says, twas. <laughs> all right, let's zoom on in. Okay. So we're going to use this light orange, all right? So we're going to go right up along this edge here. 
and a little bit in these corners. Had myself a little pasta, now I'm tempting creating a color page. Oh, nice, Aloria. What kind of color page are you, are you making? And do you draw it all by hand first or do you draw digitally? Okay, right along the edge there and right there. Oh, there's that Christmas one again. Ah, fix that. Ski up. I made pesto garlic grilled shrimp, grilled corn on the cob, and squash with beer bread. Oh my goodness, Michaela, you're making me hungry. Practice some Photoshop skills. Here. Ooh, sounds fun. Show some Facebook group, group when you're done. Awesome. That does sound good. I'll probably make a video. Oh, that'd be great, Aloria. All right, flip it around. I had leftover pizza. Does that count? <laughs> the kids were thrilled. They love pizza. Go. Still using that light orange. There we go. I'm gonna do a unicorn and draw by hand first. I usually just do watercolor work, but you guys seem to be having a lot of fun with color pages. Don't wanna miss out on the fun. Oh, for sure, Loria, color pages are great. All right, and flip it back around. And we're gonna use the traditional yellow now. So in comparison, here's the neon yellow, traditional yellow. And these are just the names I'm giving it because I feel like it's the best way I can describe it. Okay, so now we're going to blend in the edge of that orange. I'm pushing a little bit harder and I can feel that the paper is starting to pill just a little bit. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay. There we go. A little bit there. A little bit there. And I did that orange because I wanted the, the shadowing of the yellow to pop just a little bit more. go okay and now we're gonna switch <whistles> sounds good Kimberly have a good night thanks for hanging out all right we're gonna still using that traditional yellow right along the edge of that light orange okay Okay, surprisingly, I think I'm going to head to bed. I've been up since 4.30. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Plus, I think I might be getting the beginnings of a sore throat. Oh, no, Sarah. All right, well, have a good night. Feel better. Rest up. Drink lots of water. Okay, blending with that. Blending with that. Let's turn just a bit. Okay. Blending into that light orange. Remember to watch your saturation levels. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. And now we're gonna flip it one more time. And we're gonna use that neon yellow again, just to soften everything out. Which we don't need to do much for it, but just a little extra. Okay, just a smidge, not much. <laughs> Butterfly's looking great, Emily. Thank you for streaming. No problem, Sarah. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. There we go. All right, there is that yellow. Okay, let's zoom on out here. I live in a kitchen. Being a chef and executive pastry chef, I never get to get out of it. Oh, wow, Michaela. Well, you and I need to be best friends because I like food. <laughs> All right. 
We're gonna use a little bit of blue just around the, well, do we wanna do blue? we have been using a lot of blue. No, you know what? We are not gonna use blue. We are going to use pink. Pinky pink pink, okay? We're gonna use that light pink, that first color that we use, the light pink here, okay? Pinky pink pink, not blue. My instinct was blue, but not blue. Not blue. All right, we're gonna use pink. We don't want it to become too overwhelmingly blue, you know? We're gonna add pink inside these little circles as well. Okay. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> How many times can I say pink, huh? Okay, and turn. Design time, almost, Alyssa. We're gonna finish this last little pink. We're using this kind of curvy line here as our as our cutoff. There we go. All right, now we're gonna grab our medium pink. Okay. See, so here's that light pink, here's the neon pink, here's the dark one. We're using this medium one right here, okay? And just on the little corners, okay, something to give it just a little bit of pop. There we go, and flip it around. And same thing over here. Okay. And I wanna add it a little bit on these circles as well. Okay, we're gonna flip it again, because I forgot these circles here. Okay, just a little bit there. And actually, I don't know that I'm gonna blend it. I think I might just leave that how it is because it's so teeny tiny, you know? Okay, so let's zoom on out, check our progress here. Check that out, not bad, huh? That is looking awesome. So then for the next one, we'll pick up on these and we'll get this. I'm not quite sure, we may need three. We may need three streams to finish this, but I feel like we got a lot done for this part. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside real quick. Let's pick up our markers. And before we call it a night, we're gonna grab the blank butterfly. And we're gonna sketch a few designs here so that you can have some idea of what you want to do. Okay, so let's pop that all back in there. See, here we go. Whoop. Boom. <laughs> all right. There's that. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. Okay, let's grab our book here. Hitting that, let me find the page. Let's see, where are you, butterfly? Here we are, so you can see where I cut it out here. All right, so we're gonna set this up here. I gotta figure out how to, see that's the, I'm gonna shift that just a bit. Can we zoom out some more? We are, we're gonna raise this just a bit, okay? That's because I'm having to contend with the tripod here, all right? Or, you know what we could do? Well, no, I don't know that I wanna cut this page off yet. There we go. All right, we're gonna prop this up here. Oh, you know what? I have a little clip that I can use to keep the page from falling down. I got a little butterfly clip. Uh, Michaela says, well, I have to go to bed myself. Have an early start tomorrow. Sounds good, Michaela. Thanks, Alyssa. All right, there we go. All right, we've clipped that to the side there. We've got this propped up on here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Barbara says, going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks, Emily. Sounds good, Barbara. Thanks so much for hanging out. All right, um, I'm going to grab one of my pencils real quick because when you're sketching anything, your pencil is going to be your best friend because if you just go straight to ink, what happens if you make a mistake, you know? So let's see, where is my drawing pencils? Oh wait, is that mechanical pencil got lead? Hmm. Ah, perfect. This has got lead. 
this will work. Just a little mechanical pencil here. Okay, so we're just gonna sketch a few things for you, okay? Let's see if, there we go. All right, hoping that doesn't fall. Take time to get situated, Emily, yeah, I know, right? All right, let's grab my eraser here. So, pencil, eraser, and I wanna grab my nice, fine liners. I have a cup full of them, but a lot, half of those are dry and I've got a case. Here we go. New fine liners. Here we go. Or pigment liners, I suppose. These are also Stedler. Okay. So let's get in focus here. Okay. So I like this pack because it comes with six and it's got, um, you can see it's got all the little Codes, you can't see because it's blurry, uh, but it's got 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0.8. So you got a wide range there. Okay. So I would approach this like I would approach like any even mandala design that I would draw in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn this. I'm actually going to turn this like this. Okay. All right. Ah, no worries, Mia. I love it. Okay, so really, you just kind of want to let your mind flow. Think of it as, as just like a giant doodle, almost, okay? So, you you know, we have what Hannah did in hers. And you see she's got loads of design. So it's up to you, you know, kind of where you want to put it. But imagine, you know, I don't know. We'll just dive into it and we'll, we'll go. So we could start with adding a border around it, or we could just dive in. I'm going to go ahead and dive in. We're going to zoom in just a bit more, Okay. And let's make sure we're nice and in focus, okay? And because you're gonna wanna erase it, first of all, use a white plastic eraser. Colored eraser is just gonna leave uh, colored marks, like a, like a pink eraser or something. It's just gonna leave colored marks on your on your piece. So you kinda wanna decide how small you want your designs to be, how big you want them to be, okay? So we're gonna start with, this is kind of like a standard shape in any like mandala shape that I'm doing, okay? Washi tape fixes everything. Exactly. There you go. All right. So you just want to start by just lightly sketching um, some shapes. Then you can go back in and you can add more details. Okay. So I've sketched that. Now I'm going to add a little border. You know, back uh, before we had cell phones, you had the main house phone. Let's see. Laura says, I need peanut butter to go with my saltiness. I'm nibbling on it, but I'm too lazy at this time and I had to go get it. There you go. Uh, I'm sure some of you remember way back when, when there were no cell phones and we would have the house phone that was usually, you know, attached to the cord, attached to the wall, attached to the counter, and you're on a long conversation, whether, you know, it's long distance, or you're talking to a friend, there's always, you know, a notepad by there. So a lot of times you just doodle while you're on the conversation. So think of it as, you know, your doodle, you're talking to somebody, you're kind of, you know, passing the time and this is, you know, your little doodle in the corner of the page there. Okay. So we're going to add this here. I like symmetry in mine a little bit, you know? Okay, then let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's add another one here. Okay. And you're just slightly sketching it because you can go back over this with pen when you're done, okay? 12, 10 a.m., yeah, I guess it's 11, 11, 11 now. We've been going for, ooh, this is, I think, our officially our longest stream ever. We have been live for two hours, 42 minutes, and 44 seconds. <laughs> okay, now I have this fun thing that I like to do, and it almost kind of looks like a braid a little bit, but it's one of my favorite things to do. So, draw a line, but you don't attach it to anything. Then you bring another one, okay? Then you bring another one another one and you're just sort of doing it halfway almost okay actually here All right, because you're really just drawing your own designs, whatever you are feeling like drawing at the time. Okay, so now if we want to even it out, you know, make it the same on either side. 
And that's a little bit different. Sometimes it looks a bit different when I'm going the other direction, you know? Okay, a little bit of a braided kind of dealio there. All right, then we can continue out, make that a little bit flatter. And that's nice to make pencils if, wow, I didn't realize you guys were still on. What you doing now? Uh, so the blank butterfly in the book, Samantha, we are adding a few designs to it, just kind of for fun. All right, so now we got a lot of the same shapes. So let's move on to a couple different shapes, okay? So let's add a curve here, curve there, okay? Then we can do sort of a border along this. Okay, and that sets you up for a brand new design now that you've kind of finished off that part, okay? So now we can, let's say, do some things like this. I mean, because you've got the shape to fill. See, and then we can slowly like make it smaller to fade it out, see? I haven't had a house phone in eons. We don't even have a phone company here in town anymore after having one here until a couple years ago. Oh man, that's so funny. Okay, so now, now we could draw little circles inside those humps. Okay, and connect that on down. Okay. There's that. Okay, and if you need inspiration too, you can always look at, you know, what she did herself as well. Still have a line line there, there you go. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to connect this here. Okay, then we're going to take one out of her book. We're going to add some lines. Okay. And if you know you don't like the way it looks, then you erase it and you go over it. Because in fact, I don't actually like that. So we're gonna take our handy little eraser, pop that off, because I have a different idea. Have a corded one? There you go. Okay, let's see. I wanna do... There we go. Okay. There we go. We do something that stands out just a bit more. Okay. There we go. Okay. Then take that there, maybe. Uh, maybe take that there. Let's see, where's that one go? Top there. Then we can connect these two to something like that. Then you could think too, like maybe what kind of designs are, uh, like do, does the butterfly wing actually look like, you know? So now we could maybe take this and connect it here, okay? Then we could draw a line here, 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 and here, in between there, okay? And connect here, maybe add another one here, another one there, another one there, connect that there, and connect that there. All right, and then bring this around here, and over there. You're really just filling in the space with what designs you feel might work. Okay, so again, let's say this is like a butterfly wing they have these little sections. You know what I mean? There we go. And then we can connect that 
there. Not there. Not there. Okay. Now, let's add something here. Here. Because then what you can go through. Yeah, isn't it a little different? Kind of nice. You can go through and add more designs to your spaces once you have it all done. Okay. There we go. Just like that. All right. Yeah, it's a little different. I mean, the name is Emily Illustrator, so I suppose drawing things at some point should, you know, come into play, right? All right. Now let's add a few more circles here. Then we can add more of the little humps here. No problem, Melissa. This is fun. Okay. So now we've got the rest of this space to fill in here. All right. So let's do, let's see. Let's follow these little circles here. Give it a a little border. Okay. And let's do let's do this. You know, I just sort of make it up as I go along. It's just like one big doodle. I don't think I would be drawing this much. I love it. It's still fun. My Cezanne color pencils are supposed to be here today when the mail runs. Can't wait to get a hold of those and try them out on the HK5 image. I would I choose to do extra help. Oh, that'd be awesome. Joe Beth says, I'm tired. Gotta go. Thank you, Emily, for the live stream, for sharing your knowledge. No problem. Anytime, Joe Beth. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right. Let's see. Let's do another one of these. Okay. Now let's connect this here. Okay. And let's do a few more of these. And there. And there and there okay and then let's do hmm, here we go all right we're gonna follow our extra shape here and we're gonna draw some shapes in here okay Okay, so now we've got our shapes. Now I wanna choose a line that's gonna be similar to the thickness of this, okay? So we're just gonna use our point, our uh, point one here, okay? With our Stedler pigment liner. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over our lines. Then once we have our black ink, then we're gonna add a few extra details that'll leave space for you to color. Unless you wanna just keep this a complete black and white drawing, okay? So here we go now. And you'll erase all of this once you're done, okay? Okay. I'm getting tired too, it's early here. <laughs> Someone bought them for me off my wish list. I'm thrilled. I swear I'm a kid with a new toy every single time. Oh, that's awesome, Loretta. I appreciate your modding, Mia, but if you do need to go and go to sleep, that is just fine, too. I know we're going longer than we usually do. Oh, Kimmy says, I'm so tired, might have to call it a night. Sounds good, Kimmy. Have a great night. 
Everyone's getting tired. They are. All right. I will wrap it up. My sleepy, sleepy people. <laughs> Here we go. Harry no. <laughs> See you Friday, Kimmy. Well, once you get the black lines on it too, it cleans it up a little bit. And I probably could have gone with the point two. Look, I'm a little coffee made me a little jittery. You can see my lines aren't perfectly straight. All y'all future people, there you go. Still like nibbling my crackers and drinking my bar. Samantha says, I'm wide awake. <laughs> Mia says, need to drink my coffee. one here. I'm going to try and remember what order I went in so that all the connections make sense. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're in the future. Are there flying cars in the future yet? Hmm? <laughs> okay. And we're going to draw this line here. This one here. Go. Ah, night shift worker. Okay, Samantha, that makes sense. I tried cutting up an apple early to nibble, but I swear that thing was hard. You'd knock someone out if you threw it out of Oh, goodness. Well, something to keep by the door in case there's ever burglar, I suppose. You you're just keep a hoard of really hard apples. Who needs pepper spray? <laughs> So what we're doing here is what I call like the bare bones of the design. Then once you have your black ink in and all your pencil, then I like to go through it and then that's when we're add little embellishments to increase the detail on the page. Excuse my uh, shaky lines here. Aw, oh, thanks, Mia. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., there you go. I'm just a night owl where it's quieter here at night. No TVs on, uh, no people making racket, everything's peaceful. There you go, that's nice. Yeah, I worked nights at a retirement home for a while. Stories I could tell you there. There we go. 
we're still in frame here. There we go, move that a little bit. With my aim, I, they'd, have, they'd not have anything to be worried about. <laughs> Just for, like, we'll get a lot of apples, and then if you throw them all at once, at least one's bound to hit them, right? <laughs> Usually our neighbor is yelling till about midnight here anyway, Loretta. Oh, goodness. Need a new neighbor. Okay, so there's all of our black ink. She must be tired too. Yeah, she's always screaming and swearing at her boyfriend, husband, and her kid. It's like, it's like two and screaming for her mom to stop yelling. Oh, that's too bad. All right, let's see. Let's zoom out just a tad. There we go, so we can see the whole thing. All right, now we're gonna erase this. Okay. There we go. All right, now that we have our black lines, now we can go back in with it again. What do you do to retirement home? I'm a pediatric nurse. Uh, so this was this was a while ago, probably close to a decade ago. I started out as a resident assistant, and then before I left, I was a uh, re a uh, med aide. And so, um, but I managed the night shift, and so I, you know, I went through and did the bed checks, and you know. Everybody had their medications, everybody's good, you know, all that kind of thing. But it was assisted living, not a full-on retirement home. So a lot of them just, you know, just needed watching, I suppose. I have the prettiest image that was a freebie from Favor Reads. I keep looking at it, but not sure exactly how to go about coloring. It's a ship on water with flowers, birds, butterflies all over it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now that we have our basic down, now what we can do is we can go back through and we can add a few more embellishments, okay? For instance... We can add some circles here, just like that. I'm gonna skip this song. I really need to get rid of it. I don't like it. It's too repetitive. Okay, so we're gonna add that. We could add some lines here. Okay. She is our new neighbor. One, our last one was a hoarder and her kids were all neglected. Oh, that's awful, Alyssa. It makes me so sad. Okay, see, and then now we can add maybe some extra lines here. And I apologize for the shakiness. This would probably look nicer if I was on my iPad. <laughs> some here, there, okay, there. Mimi is here now licking the iPad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see, then we could add some circles here. Also, my brain's a little tired, so if I'm not getting too creative with my different designs, that's uh, that's why. So I'll have to bear with me here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do some 
one of these. Hmm. Hi, Robin. Welcome. We're warm. We're kind of cooling down the night here with some illustrations in the uh, Hannah Carlson book, filling it up a little bit. shape here fill in that space a tad there we go I know Lester it's a pretty early one uh, eventually color it there's so much detail with three or four types of flowers plus the birds and berries oh nice oh thanks Samantha okay let's see let's see let's see all right let's add some lines here Okay. And there. Okay. And if I was doing this, you know, on my own, I'd probably be taking a bit more time putting just a smidge more thought into it, but I'm just sort of grabbing what's popping into my head here. Sarah would probably be fantastic at these. I'm weird and it makes me crazy to do a lot of work on an image then end up tossing it. That's fair. That's fair. probably good enough for now and we were just kind of doing a sample like I said I maybe would spend more time on it if uh, you know and think about a bit more creative shapes normally if I was doing this and I was creating like a coloring page what I would do is I would I you know because I have a bunch of mandalas that I've created and so I would pull those up and I would look to those for examples for you know different shapes that I could do sometimes I get stuck in a rut and I forget the shapes so like for instance you know, I'll grab my iPad I'll show you real quick So I would, let's see, oh, is my iPad dead? iPad might be dead. Yeah, iPad's dead. And they don't have the charge near me. Okay, I'll have to show you that next time. Anyway, I got loads of different mandalas because, you know, I got a program that's easy to create them and it makes me, you know, think more about the shapes and, you know, I get pretty creative with them. But anyway, you can do all sorts of things. Like you could draw a border, you know, do whatever else. I don't know, who knows? Maybe we'll color them one of these days. I think Hannah's definitely uh, got me beat though. <laughs> all right, let's zoom on out. Okay, so that was our little sample of adding some designs on the wings there. See, the difficult part about this is that then you've got to try and copy it onto this side. She uh, had, you know, a little bit of help when she did it because she probably just, 
mirrored image them, so you know they're exactly the same. So anyway, just think of it like a giant doodle when you're filling it in, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, so back to the coloring. This was our progress we made for tonight. I feel like we made quite a bit of progress. Who knows if we go this long for the next one, three hours and nine minutes, maybe we'll actually finish it. So we'll pick this up again on Friday. We had a great stream today. I think we averaged about, oh, hit my elbow again. I think we averaged about 30 people for the whole stream. I mean, there's less now because everybody's headed to bed. I mean, it's 11.37 p.m. my time. So I will post a picture of this later. And again, I'm not gonna put the color list on the YouTube list only because I have no names to put there. So just look at the colors and be like, oh, hey, look, that's yellow and that's blue and that's orange and, you know, blend that way. I don't always use my rules of threes with these, but I think this will look really pretty when we're all done. Super busy, but really pretty. I almost debated about whether or not we might use like a little bit of watercolor in the background, but I don't know, this is gonna be pretty busy. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, well, I am, I'm not a huge on, on mandalas normally unless they're unique. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that, Loretta. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Oh, do just super messy coloring to get the colors on the paper where you think you want them. Oh yeah, there you go. I found a book with the triangular ones I like. Oh, that'd be cool. No problem, Alyssa. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it a night and I will see all of you lovely ladies and gentlemen on Friday. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you spending your time here. You could be anywhere else, but you chose to spend it here with me. And for that, I love each and every one of you. It's just, just so awesome and so much fun. I had a blast mixing it up with markers was great. All right, so I will see you all on Friday and I'll debate more about a weekend stream. I need to chat with my husband first, but yeah. All right, everyone have a great night or morning, wherever it is there for you. And I will see you on Friday. All right, good night.